Thank you, Jesus, for your forgiveness. Merci Jésus pour ton pardon. Gracias Jesús por tu perdón. Right now it is time to commit today's activities into the mighty hands of God. Maintenant, il est temps de remettre les activités d'aujourd'hui entre les mains puissantes de Dieu. Ahora es tiempo de encomendar las actividades de hoy en las poderosas manos de Dios. Ask for his mercy to speak for you in all the areas of your life and ask for his blessings. Demandez à sa miséricorde de parler pour vous dans tous les domaines de votre vie et demandez également ses bénédictions. Pide que su misericordia hable por ti en todas las áreas de tu, de tu vida y pídele sus bendiciones. Let's pray for more than the Lord, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, and for the evangelist, that God should continue to shower his anointing upon them for an effective witness and for his glory. Prions pour notre mère dans le Seigneur, la pasteur Evelyn Joshua, et sur les évangélistes, afin que Dieu réponde son action sur eux, afin qu'ils puissent continuer à témoigner efficacement pour le Seigneur et pour sa gloire. Oremos por nuestra madre en el Señor, la pastora Evelyn Yuso, y por los evangelistas, para que Dios continúe derramando su unción sobre ellos, para ser testigos eficaces de su gloria. For answering our prayers. Merci Jésus d'avoir répondu à nos prières. Gracias Jesús por responder nuestras oraciones. Now it is time to declare together. Maintenant, il est temps de déclarer ensemble. Ahora es tiempo de declaremos juntos. Because of Christ, I am more than a conqueror. À cause du Christ, je suis plus que vainqueur. A causa de Cristo, soy más que vencedor. Because of Christ, the enemy of my soul can never destroy me. À cause du Christ, l'ennemi de mon âme ne pourra jamais me détruire. À causa de Christ, l'ennemi de mi alma ne peut pas détruire. I am living and working, study in the liberty of Christ Jesus. Je vis et je marche stable dans la liberté du Christ Jésus. Estoy viviendo y caminando firmemente en la libertad de Cristo. I am firmly established upon the rock Jesus Christ. Je suis établi fermement sur le rocher Jésus Christ. Estoy parado firmemente en la roca Jésus Christ. If you believe in it, put your hand together for Jesus Christ. Si vous croyez cela, applaudissez pour Jésus Christ. Si tu crees, dale un aplauso a Jésus Christ. Louder, louder, louder. Applaudissez pour Jésus Christ fort. Más fuerte. Thank you, Jesus. Merci, Jésus. Gracias, Jesús. Now it is time to do our...
if your hands are not so busy, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Clap those hands for Jesus. Clap those hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. We adore you, Lord, oh God Almighty. We take out this time to praise the name of the Lord because he's awesome. I don't know what you're going through in your life right now, but I want to tell you that God is awesome in that situation, in that problem. God is awesome enough to turn that situation around. If you believe this declaration, come on, wave your hands and worship the name of the Lord. Come on. Let's sing together. Everybody say, Our God. He can move mountains. Kiss me in the valley. Hides me from the rain. Together, our God, He can move mountains, kiss me in the valley, hides me. Heals me when I'm broken, strength where I've been weakened. Yes. 
and say, I won't go back. I won't go back to my past. I won't go back to where I used to be. Because Jesus is my future. Jesus is my direction. Jesus is my possession. Jesus is my portion. Come and wave those hands as we declare those words in our hearts. say, I won't go back to the way it used to be. I won't go back to my, to my sin, to my shame, to my guilt. I choose to stay on the cross of Jesus, which is my future. For Jesus is my hope and glory. Come on, declare those words as we sing in one accord. Come on, let's sing. I've been changed.
more time.
Disconnect. Wave your hands as we worship the name of the Lord. We're still in the atmosphere of worship and praise. Come on, wave those hands. Wave those hands right now. Generations after generations. Praising you, yet no word sums you up. Then I asked the Lord, What death fits you? And He says, Yeah. Generation. After generations keep praising you, yet no one sums you up. I'll sing it again. 
again Generation After generations Keep praising you Yet no word sums you up Then I ask the Lord What they think you Everybody say We say Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow at your throne. He to worship, you will be exalted, O oh God. Every your kingdom shall not pass away. Oh uh-huh. 
a chance to sing with us. Come on, let's sing it. Say, hey, go. Hey. Come on, let's sing it one more time to the Lord. Hey. Hallelujah. 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 One more time, say, hey, yeah, yeah. say, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. song so much and it says welcome to my heart holy spirit welcome to my heart oh holy spirit to sing with me. Can we sing it together? Welcome to my heart. Oh, the Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit. One more time. Welcome, welcome. 
One more time again. Welcome to my
TV Android installation guide. Step 1. Open your preferred mobile browser and visit Emmanuel TV. Step 2. On the Emmanuel TV website, tap on the three lines at the top right corner of the screen to open the pop-up menu and tap on TV Guide, then Emmanuel TV Guide. Step 3. On the TV Guide page, scroll down to the download section and tap on the download button to initiate the download. Note, as a result of downloading the app via the website and not the Emmanuel TV Android Installation Guide. Step 1. Open your preferred mobile browser and visit Emmanuel TV. Step 2. Man of God, help me. I have difficulty in walking due to lumbar spondylosis. I am using lumbar concerts. I cannot walk. Even with the lumbar concerts, I have pains all over my body. I cannot stand. I cannot walk. Please, man of God, help me. Please help me. Espectadores de todo el mundo, comenzamos esta sección de emergencias, esta línea de oración en vivo y en directo, transmitiendo desde la arena de la libertad. Y vemos como el evangelista empieza a ministrar sanidad en la vida de esta mujer con dificultad para caminar usando un corse lumbar. Espectadores, el poder de Dios está en la casa. It is happening live and direct at the arena of liberty. You're witnessing God Almighty use the faculties of the evangelist to minister divine healing to the life of that woman. Watch a reaction under the anointing of God. God Almighty is repairing all that needs to be repaired in her life. He's restoring her back to her normal position in Christ Jesus. Be all over the world, wherever you are, begin to open the doors of your heart, begin to believe in the promise of God's word and receive all that he has promised you in his word in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. I can walk well now. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. No more pain. No more pain. Let us put our hands together for Jesus Christ. And she's here in our midst to share with us our wonderful testimony of God's goodness in her life. You can see her working majestically to the goodness of God. Let us put our hands once again for Jesus Christ. Ma'am, you're welcome to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Please tell us your name, the person standing next to you, and share with us your beautiful testimony. Emmanuel. Church Emmanuel. 
Please, church, permit me before I say anything. Please. Because what God did for me is what I cannot in my life believe. I want you to stand up and shout seven powerful hallelujah to God. God of sinner prophetic Joshua, please. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Mrs. C. Joma Elord Moore, and the person next to me is my daughter. I am here to return all the glory to God of Sinner Prophet Joshua and God of Mama Evelyn Joshua. It all started. Hey, I went to bedroom to bed with my little son. I bed finish, I came out from the, the, the bath. I carried my son. I was walking towards my door to enter my room. What I had was sharp pen. At this, my left um, um, west to my down leg. I threw the boy. I cannot stand up again. So my big boy that was at my back, they now held me. They didn't allow me to fall on the floor and put me on the chair. I was thinking, sitting on the chair, Maybe if I, uh, I will stand up again. That is all I know. On 30th of December. So, I cannot walk again. I cannot stand up. They now rushed me to hospital. When I went to the hospital, doctor asked us to go and do tests. We went to do MRI. They now diagnosed me of lumbar spondylosis. He now gave me lumbar corsets. And before then, the pain was all over my body. If the pain come, I cannot shake my body like this. But if I do like this, the pain will come. It will go to my brain, to my heart. I will shout. So it was this my daughter that was helping me in the hospital. They kept me in the hospital for a long time. From that time yet, I was discharged uh, February 6th. I was one place, lying down, facing up. Then I used bag of sand and tie one of my leg. In that hospital, the pain was much. With all the drugs they are giving me, I cannot. I was crying in that hospital. Please, they should take me to a synagogue. But I am tired of staying in one place. Even in that hospital, I, 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 when they discharged me, I developed a buttox, a buttox a distance, um, So I cannot sit down again. I cannot stand up. I say, God, what is all this? I was crying they should take me to a synagogue. So when they brought me to a synagogue, Church of All Nations, to the glory of God, last week Sunday, I was opportune to be arranged in a uh, prayer line. Even when I came, people that saw me that Sunday, I cannot move my leg, I cannot walk. I cannot stand like this. Pain all over my body, I was crying. So when they arranged me to prayer line, I was opportune. You know, when the evangelist came, I pleaded on him that he should help me, that the pain was much on me. And he touched me, immediately he touched me. I fell down. It's like they remove heavy bag of cement and rice from my body. Since that day till now, I can stand, I can walk normal, I can do what I cannot do. Before my, this, my daughter will bet me. She will be the one to bath me, rub me cream, I will be on the bed, I will sit there one place. But from, from uh, that last week, I can bet that my son now, dress him for school, what I cannot do before. I, am, I have started doing it. So I want to return the glory to God. He has done it for me. May his name and his name alone be highly exalted forever and ever. In Jesus' name. Shall we put our hands once okay. again for Jesus I Christ? The miracle work in God. We thank God for what he has done in your life. So can you demonstrate to us the things that you can do now that you couldn't do before? Oh. My dear brethren, the Lord, like before, I will use that walking stick. I'll be walking like this. I cannot go alone. No. Somebody will be here holding me. Somebody will be here holding me. And I will use that walking stick. I'll be going. But now, since last Sunday, look at me. You can see me. You can see me. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Let us put Thank you, Jesus. For Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God for what he has done in your life once again, and we pray with you that it will remain permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. So with this wonderful work of God in your life, what is your word of advice to people listening to you? 
my brothers and sisters seated in this auditorium and the viewers all over the world watching me right now. There is nothing impossible to before God. Whenever you have problem, please don't run from God. Run to God. That is where the solution is. And I have run to him. I have seen the solution. Praise God. Amen. So let us listen to your daughter. You're welcome to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Please introduce yourself, the person standing next to you, and tell us briefly how this problem affected you and how do you feel now that you can see your mom work freely without any assistance from anyone? Emmanuel. My name is Miss Ma Elodimo. I'm so happy now that my mom can work. I'm so happy now that my mom can work. Because at first, I thought it was actually a dream. But now, look at her now working. It affected me a lot. I could not go to work. I could not go out. I had to cook for her. I had to bathe her. I had to cream her. I had to do a lot of things for her. I had to stay at home for 24 hours all day. It really affected me a lot. But now, look at her. She's so strong. She can do everything by herself now. I have resumed work already. I'm so happy. Thank you. Let us put our hands once again for Jesus Christ. So we thank God for what he has done in the life of your family. And we pray that the healing that you've received will remain permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Y acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio de la señora Yeoma que viene acompañada de su hija a testificar de su completa sanidad de la dificultad para, para caminar. Ella nos comenta que un buen día se estaba tomando su ducha cuando de repente sintió un chasquido en su espalda, notó un terrible dolor y se dio cuenta que ya era incapaz de caminar, de moverse, de incorporarse y que tenía un terrible dolor. Así que la llevaron a un hospital, le hicieron una radiografía y le dijeron que tenía espondilosis lumbar. Tan solo pudieron darle un corsé y medicación. Así que decidió buscar el rostro de Dios en la escom para su completa sanidad. El domingo pasado vino aquí a la escom y como vemos en pantalla fue dispuesta en la línea de oración donde el, eh, el evangelista oró por ella y al toque en el nombre de Jesucristo ministrado en el poder del Espíritu Santo ella recibió su completa e instantánea sanidad. Hoy puede hacer todo lo que antes no podía hacer, puede caminar sin dificultad, ha vuelto a hacer sus tareas y tanto ella como su hija vienen a darle la gloria a Dios. Nos aconseja que cualquiera que sea el problema Corre hacia Dios, no huyas de Dios. Damos toda la gloria a Dios. Vous venez d'écouter le merveilleux témoignage de Madame Ijeoma et les Dumo. Elle est présente ici avec sa fille. Et elle dit que un bon jour, en sortant de, sa, de la salle de bain, elle a entendu un craquement dans son dos et qu'elle est tombée. Et depuis ce jour, elle est partie chez le médecin. Elle a vu le médecin a diagnostiqué qu'elle avait une spondylose lombaire. Il lui a donc donné un corset lombaire à porter. Elle dit que la solution n'était toujours pas présente, qu'elle avait mal, elle n'arrivait pas à se mouvoir normalement, à faire ses tâches quotidiennes. Et c'était sa fille à ses côtés qui l'aidait à bouger et à travailler à la maison. Elle dit donc, elle a décidé de venir à la synagogue des Nations, comme vous le voyez. L'évangéliste a prié pour elle et immédiatement, elle a retrouvé sa faculté de, à marcher. Elle peut marcher, se mouvoir depuis ce jour. Elle ne porte plus de corset lombaire. Elle dit qu'elle est libre pour la gloire de Dieu. Elle donne comme conseil d'accourir à Dieu en cas de difficulté. Téléspectateurs du monde entier, continuez de regarder vos écrans. Let's put our hands together for the Savior Jesus. Yes, such wonderful testimonies as we still have more testimonies to listen to. But before we listen... I can use this nose to be now feeling better. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And that was how he received his healing. 
and is here to glorify God for the good thing God has done for him. So you're welcome. Please introduce yourself and tell us your testimony. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. If God is with us, who can be against us? If God say yes, who will say no? I want to thank God for my life, for what he has done in my life. It's not by my grace or my power from day one to now. My name is Oni Ezekiel Jotuli. The person standing next to me is my father. The problem that brought me to the school prayer line was difficult in breathing due to traumatic construction. It all started last year summer class during a football session. I was injured on my nose, which caused me bleeding for 30 minutes. The, um, the school nurse gave me first aid treatment, but to all that was in vain. Later that day, I was referred to the hospital. For a month, I was on medication and drugs, injection, pills. For a month, thinking that that is going to stop it. But see, I went back to school for the first session. It was giving me problems. It, it affected my life, my study. My, my daily activities in school, it affected me badly. I can't breathe well. This thing was the worst part of it. This thing was the worst part of it. At the beginning of the session, in those days, if I want to sleep, I cannot use my so nose to sleep. And the, during that him. Amatan period, I had cut down this or that one, so the two nose were blocked. I want to breathe on my mouth, causing me to snow. So you're saying that this uh, problem actually caused you to have that difficulties in breathing? Yes. You could not breathe from your nose properly? Yes. So tell us, in what other way did it affect you in your daily activity? E Apart from sleeping... Waking up in the morning, waking up in the morning because I'm a brother who has to go and fetch our water. Waking up in the morning, looking for, instead of breathing for my nose, I'll be in my mouth. And the past trauma I have um, with my teeth, it will, I'll be having this shivering sensation. My teeth will be shocking me. I, I cannot... That morning, I would just have to be acting gentle because of this difficulty in breathing, my teeth, the pain, or if I'm sleeping in the night due to breathing from my mouth. Sometimes I can fly with just enter my mouth, and next thing I wake up. Ah. So tell us what happened when you came to the squam and you have been prayed for. I was I was at this side during the during the time the man of God was the evangelist was praying for me. I felt this sensation in my in my in my legs, my toe yeah, it was shaking my hand my hand this my right hand was so immediately he touched my nose. The, there was an inflation on this other side of my nose, causing me not to breathe away. The moment he placed his hand on this side, you can see it. The inflation was there. It was, it was decreasing, bringing out the bone, because my nose shifted, bringing out the bone that was here to, to the normal side. In my legs, in my toe. So what about the breathing? I can breathe no more. I can I'm breathing very fine. Now it's like during the healing, I should just use only this nose because it's, it's a long time from August last sitting now. I can't breathe with this nose. But now after the prayer. I can breathe with uh, let's put our hands together for Lord and Savior Jesus.
So with this good thing God has done for you, what is your advice to people who are listening to you? Who who your hope in Christ Jesus and whatever you are doing, Christ first. Lord, Lord Jesus, before anything in your life, when you're waking up in the morning, put, let God be the first thing on your mind before any other thing. And as for others like me, be cautious of whatever you are doing and put yourself in the hands of the Lord. Let's put our hands once more for Lord and Savior Jesus. So let's listen to a word or two from your father. Sir, you're welcome. Introduce yourself and tell us what do you want to say concerning this healing your son has received? Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Uh, before I add a little thing to what my sons have said, I would like the audience, the congregation, to join me to shout uh, hallelujah in my local language. We just like this. Oh, joy, joy. Four times. Yeah, my name is Mr. Iaki James Ono Odilile. I'm from Edo State. Uh, I'm based here in Lagos. This is my son, Ezekiel Ono Ojotule. Uh, we thank God for everything. Because on that faithful day last year, August, during the summer uh, holiday, I returned from work. I, I saw him lying down. Normally, each time I return from school, is uh, from work if it's around, the first thing he would do is to, to come and hug me. But I was surprised to see him lying down. Uh, Daddy, welcome. Daddy, welcome. He could not get up. I was shocked. I said, ah, what is the problem? I just have to flick away with what I was holding. He said, no, 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 no problem. Not knowing that he was just waiting for me to, to relax. I was not comfortable. And I called the junior brother. I said, what is the problem? What happened from where you people went to lesson? And he said, well, during the, uh, where they were playing ball, that somebody kicked him or the nose where he fell. I said, ah, and I said, okay, oh, yeah, get up, let me see. I checked the nose was not in the position again. The thing now shifted. I said, no, this is serious. It was there, and I took him to, to, to hospital to run all that test and uh, run scan on him. The, after the treatment, I think because sure, it was going, uh, getting to the problem. time they want to resume for the holiday. So when I went back to school, from time to time, he would call me that, ah, Daddy, that he's not comfortable, most especially the area of uh, breathing. I said, don't worry. You will, get, you will be okay. Just be taking the drugs, give it to you from the hospital. After two days again, he will call me again. He said, Daddy, I'm not comfortable the way I'm breathing. No. I said, okay. Just come back. You have to come back. Because the, this week we're about to enter now. This week that starts today. But Thursday, they will have their meeting. I said, no, don't wait until your meeting. Just come back to Lagos. Okay. We know you have a lot to say. But tell us specifically, how did this difficulty in Britain affect... What do you have to say concerning how it affected his academics? Because... Uh, he find it difficult to concentrate because of uh, if you are not comfortable, if you have injury in your body and they want to do something, your mates are doing, you will not be comfortable. Because this time, during the classes, he will call me that, uh, I said, are you not in the class? He said, no, you cannot, you cannot breathe well. Most especially uh, this January, uh, early February, there is serious amata in Ogu State. So, so what, what now happened uh, as he came and received prayer? Tell us those changes since after the prayer. Yes, since that was Sunday after the touch of the evangelist that prayed for him, where we got home, at night I go to him to observe him. Because that day that he came, that was Saturday, I observed the way he was breathing. I said, is it what this boy had been passing through? But after that prayer that was Sunday, at night I went to observe him. He was sleeping very well, breathing very well. He did not, I think I was what I even woke, uh, woke him in the morning around uh, seven or so. The following day again, I went to check him at night again. Since that day, he has been breathing very well. There's no uh, complication again. Let's put our hands together for our Lord and Savior Jesus. So, what's your advice to people who are listening to you? Uh, my advice to people is that, uh, most especially from the parents, 
Because that particular day, my wife warned me that I should not allow them to go to the lesson. But I said, no. For them not to be playing in the house, let them go to a lesson. But uh, we thank God for everything. We thank God for everything. My advice to people is that uh, sometimes both wife and the husband, let us be having a listening ear to the both parties. Écoutez le merveilleux témoignage de cette famille, la famille ONU. Il dit que le fils, à ses côtés, dit qu'il est parti un jour à l'école et que, en jouant au ballon, un de ses camarades de classe a chuté le ballon contre son nez et son nez s'est déplacé. Il a commencé à saigner abondamment. Il dit qu'il s'est rendu dans des hôpitaux, mais il n'y avait pas de solution à ce problème. Il avait des problèmes respiratoires et c'était difficile pour lui de continuer à se concentrer à l'école. Donc, il a décidé de venir ici à la synagogue des des Nations, où vous pouvez le voir, l'évangéliste a prié pour lui en lui touchant, en lui touchant le nez et il dit qu'immédiatement, Lorsque l'évangéliste a touché son nez, il a senti que son nez s'est déplacé et s'est repositionné à sa position initiale. Il dit qu'après cela, il peut respirer confortablement. Il est complètement guéri. Il est libéré de tout problème respiratoire. Il rend gloire à Dieu et son père témoigne des difficultés respiratoires que son fils avait avant et de la guérison qu'il a eue après de toucher de l'évangéliste. Il rend gloire à Dieu tous les deux pour la guérison totale et permanente au nom de Jésus-Christ. Il donne comme conseil d'accourir à Dieu, quel que soit le problème que vous pouvez avoir, Telespectateurs du monde entier, continuez de regarder vos écrans. Y acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio de Ezequiel Onu que viene acompañado de su papá. Él nos cuenta que un buen día estaba jugando a la pelota, al fútbol, al balón, cuando recibió un balonazo y se dio cuenta que era incapaz de respirar. Esto le estaba causando muchos problemas. Lo llevaron a un hospital eh, y allí le dieron un tratamiento, pero el problema después del tratamiento todavía persistía. Así que su familia decidió traerlo a la escuela, donde como vemos en pantalla, el pasado domingo el evangelista impuso manos ungidas en él y ese toque ungido ministrado en el nombre de Jesucristo, su respiración se abrió completamente, su tracto nasal se normalizó y él pudo respirar libre para la gloria de Dios. A día de hoy viene a testificar que sigue respirando libremente, que ha vuelto a recuperar todas sus actividades normales y nos aconsejan que cualquiera que sea el problema corre hacia Dios, no huyas de Dios, porque Dios es la respuesta a todos los asuntos fundamentales de la vida. Damos toda la gloria a Dios. People of God, praise the Lord. Praise the mighty Jesus. We are still listening to life-changing testimonies from people, and we have another testifier here in our midst. But before the testifier steps forward, let's watch to see what transpired that brought about this life-changing. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? And that was how the little girl received her healing to the glory of God. And she's here with her mother to return all glory to God Almighty. Ma, you're welcome. Please introduce yourself and introduce the person standing beside you and share with us your wonderful testimony. Good morning, church. Emmanuel. My name is Susan Bisson. My daughter's name is Bisson. This person beside me, she's my daughter. Her name is Sarah Bisson. What uh, was brought up to Snago Church of All Nation was the problem of an uh, accident. Hmm? And they called, her that, they called me that day, the one fearful day, that my, mom, my daughter went out. Then the next thing I heard is, well, I, I just hear a call. Somebody say, Madam, are you the, the mother of um, Sarah? I said, yes. You say, come, your daughter would have seen them. I say, ah, what happened to my daughter? What happened to my daughter? I do not even got myself. I'm just, I don't even know. To walk, I cannot even walk. I, don't, I cannot walk. I cannot even, I, I don't even know what, did you know what, uh, mommy, what happened to Sarah? What happened to Sarah? She not be crying. What happened to Sarah? I say, I don't know what happened. Let's get there first. When I get to that place, you see, I, I cannot even look at my daughter's leg. The leg is so blood everywhere. I don't even know what happened to her. They say the car, they say the car is far, but they don't know how the car just 
hit back. But I don't know. People are there. They say, thank God. Thank God for which God that you serve. You just give God the glory. Thank God. Thank God for your life. So we now go to a hospital. They treat her. They now say we should go to a uh, stand to go and do uh, 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 S3. They say we should go and do S3. I say, God, why would I, I, I go to S3? They say they want to put a POP. I say, me, I don't have that type of amount for the POP. The God Almighty will do it. Doctor, I'm coming. And I brought her to synagogue. They place her in pray, uh, prayer line. Mommy Evelyn Joshua pray for her. She can walk. Just see the leg now. Now she can walk. She's free. Before, I'm the one that backing her, taking her everywhere. She cannot do anything. She cannot bathe by herself. She cannot go to school. She cannot do anything. Children of God, help me and thank God for what God of TV Joshua have done in my life. The God of Mommy Evelyn Joshua. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we put those hands together one more time for Jesus? So how do you feel now that your daughter has received her healing? I'm so happy. I'm happy she'll go back to school. She's going to school now. And she's happy too. I saw that she's playing with her junior. They have seen uh, their friends now around. Thank you, Jesus. So we thank God for what he has done in your life. So with this wonderful work of God in your daughter's life, what is your word of encouragement to people watching you right now? My words of encouragement that people should trust in God and believe in God. There's nothing that God cannot do. Believe in God and trust in God. God that do my own will do your own in the name of Jesus. Amen. So let's listen to one of two words from your daughter. Can you introduce yourself, little girl? What's your name? My name is Sarah Bison. I'm 12 years old. So can you tell us your experience when you had this accident? I can't play with my friends. Anytime I see my friends playing, I will be crying. I can't go to school. I can't do anything. I can't sleep at night, but I thank God now. I'll put those hands together for Jesus. So what happened to you when the woman of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, was praying for you? When she was praying for me, the pain left me immediately. I thank God. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? So can you show us the leg where you had the wound before? Can you tap the leg? I'm not feeling any pain again. Can you stamp it on the floor? Can you walk for us to the glory of God? Shall we put those hands together for Jesus? So do you feel any pain while walking? No. How do you feel now? I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Nous voulons entendre le témoignage de Madame Suzanne accompagnée de sa fille Sera. Madame Suzanne raconte que voilà un jour, elle a reçu un appel disant que sa fille avait fait un accident. Et là, elle est partie rejoindre sa fille à l'hôpital. Les docteurs ont dit que voilà, elle avait une fracture au niveau du tibia et à cause de la fracture qu'elle devait utiliser un support qui coûtait très cher. Alors la mère ne pouvait pas. Elle dit qu'elle savait qu'elle devait faire confiance à Dieu. Mais à cause de cette fracture, sa fille avait des difficultés à marcher, n'arrivait pas à jouer avec ses amis, n'arrivait même pas à dormir et ni partir à l'école. C'est là que sa mère l'a emmenée ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations la pasteur Evelyn Joshua a prié pour elle au nom de Jésus-Christ, elle dit qu'immédiatement la douleur a disparu, elle s'est mise à marcher comme vous voyez aujourd'hui elle est en bonne santé elle est remplie de joie, elle rend toute la gloire à Dieu et sa mère vous encourage en disant croyez et faites confiance à Dieu Spectadores de todo el mundo, acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio de la señora Susana y su hija Sara. Ella vino a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones, ya que su hija tuvo un accidente en el que se fracturó la tibia y tenía que usar un yeso por ese problema. Ella no podía hacer sus actividades diarias, no podía ir al colegio. Sin embargo, cuando la pastora Evelyn Joshua oró por ella, inmediatamente recibió su sanidad y hoy está aquí para testificar de la bondad de Dios. Ahora ella puede caminar y puede hacer todo lo que no podía. Su madre nos aconseja a confiar. In Dios, espectador, permanece conectado. If your faith is lifted up, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Yes, we're still listening to faith building testimony, but before the next as far as step forward, let us see our God intervene. <laughs> de Dieu, la pasteur Evelyn Joshua prie pour que l'homme avec des vitesses à marcher, Dieu a des problèmes au niveau de son genou. 
Regardez votre écran, cet homme est venu depuis l'Italie. Observez comment Jésus-Christ œuvre à travers la serre de Dieu pour apporter la guérison. Y la pastora Beliñosa impone manos ungidas en la vida de este hombre de Italia que venía con dificultad para caminar. Dios está ahora tocando su caso. And that was how God Almighty intervened in his life and is right here walking freely to the testify to the glory of God. Let's put our hands once again for our miracle walking God. <clears throat> so, sir, you're welcome. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us your beautiful testimony? Good, good morning, church. Emmanuel. Praise God. My name is Prince. I'm from Italy. I see you people saw it on the clips. I was having a lean problems. It was very difficult for me. So I wake up this one morning, I found out that my knee was swollen and there was a severe pain. So I, I, I observed it after some days, uh, the pain was appreciating. I decided to go to the hospital. Got into the hospital, they did an history and uh, give it some medication, and I had a, a knee brace to support my knees. Well, the pain still continues, so I decided to come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Getting here, I was being prayed for. I've been arranged on the prayer lines. I was being prayed for by Pastor Evelyn Joshua. The moment she prayed for me, the knee brace was re removed, uh, my, uh, my knee was released. Praise God. You can see I can throw my legs right now. The pain has, is gone. I, praise God. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. So, sir, tell us, how has this problem affected your life? Yeah, it affected me because when I wake up that morning, I found out that I could not get up the way I used to. So I have to su uh, support myself with some things that was around me. So ever since, it has, it has affected me in my workplace. Uh, I could not do the things that I used to do normally. And even at home, the same thing. I will support myself with a lot of things. But today, I can do a lot of things. So I can walk. You can see I can bend, the pain is gone, and the swelling is gone. Praise the Lord. Emmanuel. A clap is not enough for a miracle walking God. Let's put those hands beautifully for a miracle walking God. So tell us, what was your experience when the woman of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, was praying for you? The moment she prayed for me, I felt a relief on my knees. Praise the Lord. So tell, tell us your advice to people listening to you. In my lawyer, my advice goes to everybody, most especially those that are watching us right now. Whenever you are going through pain, you should not run away from God. Sink the face of God and have faith in him. In Jesus' name, you will be healed. Amen. Espectadores de todo el mundo, acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio del señor Prince. Él es de Italia, vino a la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones con un problema de dificultad para caminar debido a un problema en su rodilla, las tenía, la tenía hinchada y cuando fue al médico le dieron un soporte para ella. Este problema le afectó su vida diaria ya que no podía hacer eh, las cosas eh, cotidianas y le afectaba para su trabajo también. Sin embargo, cuando la pastora Evelyn Joshua oró por él inmediatamente, ese dolor desapareció y Ahora camina libremente para la gloria de Dios. Ya no tiene esa hinchazón y nos aconseja a confiar en Dios. Espectador, permanece conectado. Nous allons entendre le témoignage de Monsieur Prince qui nous vient de l'Italie. À la gloire de Dieu, il partage son témoignage euh, disant que voilà, il avait des difficultés à marcher. Et il dit que c est, c est, tout s'est produit en beau jour. Il s'est réveillé avec le genou enflé, avec des douleurs intenses. Il est parti à l'hôpital. Les docteurs lui ont prescrit des médicaments et même une genouillère afin de soutenir le genou. Mais il dit que c'était en vain. La douleur était toujours là. Il est venu ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations où la pasteur Evelyn Joshua a posé les mains au nom de Jésus-Christ. Il dit que là, le problème a disparu. À la gloire de Dieu, il dit 
lui, avant qu'il y avait des difficultés à marcher, à pencher, aujourd'hui il est libre, il est en bonne santé, il rend toute la gloire à Dieu et il vous encourage tous en disant « Cherchez la face de Dieu ». of God. Good morning and win forever. Yes. God Almighty continues to give us plenty of evidence to believe in him. As we have just listened to testimonies from people who God Almighty intervened in their lives and they received great miracles of healing, deliverance, and salvation. After being liberated, after they visited the Snow Church of All Nations, the arena of liberty, Lagos, Nigeria, and they were being prayed for and they received their healing. We also have testimonies from people who are not opportune to be here physically, but connected by faith through the ministry of Prophet C.B. Joshua, and they received their healing, deliverance, salvation, and breakthrough. They have sent in their testimonies via email, so let us listen as they are being read out. And be blessed as you listen to them in Jesus Christ's name. Hola de Dios, buenos días y vence hoy. Vence mañana y vence siempre. Acabamos de escuchar increíbles testimonios de personas que recibieron su toque aquí en la Arena de la Libertad, la Sinagoga Iglesia de todas las naciones. Pero también hemos recibido testimonios de aquellas personas que no tuvieron la oportunidad de estar aquí físicamente, pero que recibieron su toque conectados por fe a través del Ministerio de Profeta TV Joshua. Ellos han llamado a la línea de oración de Manuel TV o han visto Manuel TV y orado junto con el Profeta TV Joshua. Espectador, mientras observas, permanece bendecido en el nombre de Jesús. Peuple de Dieu, bonjour et soyez vainqueur aujourd'hui. Nous venons d'écouter des témoignages impressionnants des œuvres de Dieu dans la vie des personnes, de ceux qui ont été ici physiquement et qui ont reçu de la part de Dieu. Nous avons également des témoignages des personnes qui n'ont pas eu l'opportunité d'être ici physiquement, mais qui ont eu de grands miracles à travers le ministère du prophète Tib Joshua. Ces personnes ont reçu juste en regardant Emmanuel TV ou en priant avec le prophète Tib Joshua, la serpente de Dieu, la pasteur Tib Joshua, et Dieu a fait de grands miracles dans leur vie. Ils nous ont écrit par courrier pour nous faire part de leur témoignage. Alors que vous écoutez, restez bénis au nom de Jésus. The first testimony we meet is from Irene, and it's read us. Good morning and win today. I would like to share my testimony of God's mercy upon my life. My name is Irene from South Africa. I called the Synagogue Church of All Nations prayer line on the 1st of January 2023, around 10.30 a.m., I, I asked for prayers because I was having a seized menstruation. Every morning for the past two weeks, I would have period pains in the early hours of the morning, but I would not see my menstruation. I got concerned as I didn't know what was happening because I had never experienced this before. A prayer warrior picked my call and prayed for me, for God's mercy to prevail in my life. At about 2.45 p.m., as I, was, I went to the bathroom, lo and behold, a plug of blood came out and my menstruation started. I would like to thank God Almighty for giving us Synagogue Church of All Nations and the Prayer Line Department. May God Almighty continue to increase the ministry in Jesus' name. And attached to the email is a picture of the menstruation. El primer testimonio es de Irene de Sudáfrica. Ella sufría de cese de menstruación. Nos comenta de que llamó a la línea de oración y un guerrero de oración oró por ella. Luego fue al baño y su menstruación volvió. Ella da gracias a Dios Todopoderoso por el ministerio de las Coan y por el Dios del profeta Tibi Joshua, quien ha hecho este milagro en su vida. Bonjour y soyez vainqueur por toujours. A la familia de las Coan son las salutaciones de Madame Irene de África del Sud. Ella partage un témoin de la misericordia de Dios en su vida. Elle a appelé la ligne de prière de la Squane, demandant de prier pour l'arrêt de ses menstruations. Un guerrier de la prière a répondu à son appel et a prié pour elle et que la miséricorde de Dieu l'emporte sur sa situation. 
Après la prière, elle est allée aux toilettes et un bouchon du sang est sorti. Et ses règles ont commencé. Elle remercie Dieu Tout-Puissant de nous avoir donné la squane et le service de la ligne de prière. Puisse Dieu Tout-Puissant continue à accroître à ce ministère, dit-elle. Emmanuel. The next email was sent in from Malawi. Let us listen. Good morning and win today. My name is Maria from Malawi. I want to testify to the glory of God. I was pregnant with complications. Then I called the monetary prayer line on Friday, December 1st, 2023. And they prayed for me. Then on Sunday, December 3rd, I gave birth to a bouncing baby girl safely. I thank God of Prophet Sibi Joshua for what he has done. So attached is a picture of the bouncing baby girl. El próximo testimonio es de María de Malawi. Ella tenía un embarazo riesgoso y decidió llamar a la línea de oración de Emanuel TV. Un guerrero de oración oró por ella y para la gloria de Dios, ella dio a luz de manera segura a una niña. Damos gracias a Dios de Profeta Tibiyosha por este maravilloso milagro. Sur, sur el ecran estaba la imagen del bebé miracle. Mar, Ma, María de Malawi estaba enceinte con des complicaciones y ella appelé la línea de prière de Emanuel TV el vendredi 1 de diciembre de 2023. Et le dimanche 3 décembre, elle a donné naissance à une petite fille en toute sécurité. Elle remercie le Dieu du prophète Tibi Joshua. The next email reading with me is from Anne from South Africa. I want to thank God of prophète Tibi Joshua for his grace and his goodness upon my life and my family. I got a job and I started experiencing great challenges. I found myself making big mistakes in my work that threatened my job and things got too much for me. And I called the synagogue Church of All Nations prayer line. I confessed my sins and the evangelist prayed for me, saying God's mercy is upon me. A way out for me has come and that God loves me. After the prayer, in two days, I received a brand new company car. It was an impossible situation that God made it possible. I thank God of Prophet T.B. Joshua and Pastor Evelyn Joshua and the, and the God of Synagogue Church of All Nations for his, for his great mercy upon my life and that of my family. And attached to this email is a picture of the car that he received from his company. El próximo testimonio es de Ana de Sudáfrica. Ella nos comenta que decidió llamar a la línea de oración ya que estaba enfrentando diferentes desafíos financieros. El guerrero de oración oró por ella y a los dos días recibió, como vemos en pantalla y en la imagen, un auto nuevo y un empleo nuevo. Era imposible, pero Dios lo hizo imposible. Da gracias al Dios del profeta Tibi Joshua y de la pastora Evelyn Joshua. Ce témoignage nous vient d'Anna d'Afrique du Sud qui remercie le Dios del profeta Tibi Joshua por su gracia y su bondad sobre su vida y sobre su familia. Elle dit que dans son travail, elle a connu de grands défis. Elle a fait une grosse erreur dans son travail qui a menacé son emploi et les choses sont devenues trop lourdes pour elle. Elle a appelé la ligne de prière de la Squane. L'évangéliste a prié pour elle en disant « La miséricorde de Dieu est sur toi. Une issue pour toi est venue et il lui a dit que Dieu l'aime. » Après la prière, en deux jours, elle a reçu une voiture de fonction toute neuve. C'était une situation impossible, mais Dieu l'a rendue possible. Elle remercie le Dieu du prophète Tibi Joshua. Emmanuel. The next email was sent from Uganda. Let us listen. Good morning and win today. Win tomorrow and win forever. I am Mrs. Joan from Uganda. I want to give thanks to Almighty God for healing me from uncontrolled urine, which I have been struggling with for six months. I had to call the Emmanuel TV prayer line and I was prayed for. And surprisingly, my uncontrolled urine stopped immediately, including the cough flu and every other sicknesses, which I have now received my healing. To be honest, I was tired of padding myself because every day I would use two packs of pad, but I am now free from uncontrolled urine and I give thanks to Almighty God for healing me. El próximo testimonio es de Joan de Uganda. Nos comenta que estaba sufriendo de incontinencia urinaria por seis meses. Llamó a la línea de oración. Un guerrero de oración oró por ella y recibió su sanidad instantánea de este problema y de otros que tenía como gripe, tos o malaria. Da toda la gloria a Jesucristo por este maravilloso milagro. Joa de Uganda remercie le Dieu Tout-Puissant de l'avoir guéri d'un problème d'urine incontrôlé avec lequel elle luttait depuis six mois. Elle a également eu une grippe. Pour cela, elle a appelé la ligne de prière et ils ont prié pour elle. 
à sa grande surprise, son urine incontrôlée s'est arrêtée immédiatement. Et elle a également été guérie de la grippe et du paludisme. Elle dit qu'elle était fatiguée de se rembourrer parce que chaque jour, elle utilisait deux paquets de serviettes hygiéniques. Maintenant, elle est libérée de l'urine incontrôlée et elle remercie Dieu Tout-Puissant de l'avoir guérie. These testimonies we're listening to are articles of faith and indeed is a proof that Jesus Christ is still the same yesterday, today and forever. And also to strengthen our faith so that we will never doubt God's ability to heal us to bless us and to deliver us. Estos testimonios que escuchamos son evidencia de que Jesucristo es el mismo ayer, hoy y siempre y sigue obrando maravillas. Y también para fortalecer nuestra fe, para creer que Dios es capaz de obrar ese milagro en nuestras vidas. Ces témoignages que nous écoutons sont des articles de foi selon lesquels Jésus-Christ est le même hier, aujourd'hui, éternellement. Ils sont aussi pour renforcer notre foi afin que nous, nous, nous ne doutions jamais de la capacité de Dieu de nous guérir, de nous bénir et de nous sauver. The next email is a healing that Perseverance received from Zimbabwe. Let us listen. Good morning and win today, tomorrow and forever. Emmanuel, God is with us. My name is Perseverance and I am from Zimbabwe. My testimony goes like this. In November 2023, I started experiencing headache almost every day. So I started taking painkillers, thinking it was a mere headache but it still went on. And on that note, it became worse every single day until I decided to visit the doctor. The doctor said it was high blood pressure and he gave me medications. As I was taking the medications, I realized that the headache was still getting worse. And with this, I was supposed to go to a new place of work as I was recently transferred. I remember it was on a Saturday and I, was supposed to, and I was to travel on a Sunday. And I had already declared to my family members that I was not going due to this problem. Then I called the Emmanuel TV prayer lines for prayer, and I was prayed for. And immediately after the prayer, I was healed instantly. From that day to today, I have never experienced any headache again. And the next day, which was Sunday, I traveled to my new workplace, Emmanuel. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God of Prophet TV Joshua and Pastor Evelyn Joshua for this wonderful thing. My advice to people all over the world is that when you face any challenges in life, always run to God as distance is not a barrier. El próximo testimonio de Perseverance de Zimbabue estaba sufriendo de dolores de cabeza y esto le afectaba a su empleo. El doctor le había diagnosticado hipertensión y diferentes medicamentos, pero no había solución para su problema ya que tenía mucho dolor. Hasta que llamó a la línea de oración y recibió su sanidad, porque el libro de oración oró por él y recibió su sanidad instantáneamente. Da toda la gloria a Jesucristo por este maravilloso milagro. Perseverance de Zimbabue dit... En novembre 2023, elle a commencé à avoir mal à la tête presque tous les jours. Elle a pris des analgésiques en pensant qu'il s'agissait d'un simple mal de tête. Mais cela, ce mal de tête s'est aggravé de jour en jour jusqu'à ce qu'elle a décidé d'aller voir un médecin. Le médecin lui a dit que c'était de l'hypertension et lui a donné des médicaments. Pendant qu'elle prenait les médicaments, elle s'est rendue compte que le mal de tête s'aggravait et elle a appelé la ligne de prière d'Emmanuel TV. Pour la prier. Ils ont prié pour elle et elle a été guérie instantanément. Depuis ce jour jusqu'aujourd'hui, elle dit qu'elle n'a plus eu de maux de tête et le lendemain, elle s'est rendue à, à son nouveau lieu de travail. Emmanuel dit-elle. Merci Jésus. The next testimony with me is from Malawi. Good morning and win always. My name is Elizabeth from Malawi. I have been suffering from fibroid for many years and because of this fibroid, my heart was swollen and I was left with 3.8 liters of blood. And because of this, I had to be given three pints of blood. I was admitted for three days, but that could not take the fibroid away. And the only thing that was reviving me at that moment was watching Emmanuel TV. On the 6th of February last week, when the evangelist prayed for me, on the 8th, I started seeing my menstruation. Surprisingly, no fibroid. The blood that used to gush out like a tap stopped. 
Nothing like that anymore. I was using five packs of pad within three days. But today, I thank God because everything is back to normal. Also, I have never, I have not taken any iron tablets to sustain my blood. I'm free from fibroid. I'm healed from no more headaches. Thank you, God of Prophet C.B. Joshua and Pastor Evelyn Joshua. Acabamos de escuchar el testimonio de Elizabeth de Malawi. Ella padecía de fibromas por muchos años y debido a esto tenía el corazón inflamado. Estuvo internada tres días y tomaba muchos medicamentos debido al dolor y por el excesivo sangrado. Llamó a la línea de oración y a los dos días la menstruación volvió a la normalidad. Ella ahora da toda la gloria a Jesucristo ya que todos los dolores que tenía desaparecieron luego de llamar a la línea de oración. Gracias Jesús. Elizabeth du Malawi souffrait d'un fibrome pendant de nombreuses années et à cause de ce fibrome, son cœur a gonflé et elle s'est retrouvée avec 3,8 litres de sang pour revenir à la vie. Elle, car elle saignait. On lui a donné 3 litres de sang. Elle a pris des médicaments pour voir si ses règles pouvaient diminuer un peu, mais tout cela s'est avéré infractueux. Jusqu'au 6 février, quand elle a appelé la ligne de prière de la Squana. Quand l'évangéliste a prié pour elle le 6 février, elle a commencé à avoir ses règles. Étonnamment, pas de fibrome. Le sang qui sortait comme un robinet s'est arrêté, arrêté. Elle utilisait cinq paquets de serviettes hygiéniques en trois jours, mais aujourd'hui, elle remercie Dieu car tout est revenu normal. Elle dit qu'elle n'a plus pris de médicaments pour soutenir son sang. Elle dit qu'elle n'a plus de fibrome. Elle est guérie. Merci Jésus. The next email was sent in from Ghana concerning a wonderful healing. Let us listen. My name is... Abakasi from Ghana. On the 1st of January 2024, after taking my bath, I couldn't stand up or breathe properly, and I was feeling serious stomach ache. I was supported by my wife and other members of my family to the, to the hospital, where I was admitted and treated for ulcer and discharged on the 3rd of January 2024 with some medications to continue the treatment at home. But the situation did not change at all. On the 13th of January 2024, I then decided to make a call of faith to the Emmanuel TV prayer line, and I was attended to and prayed for. In the course of the prayer, I started coughing and coughed out poisonous substances, after which I found myself rolling on the floor while sweating. And I was told that the evil spirit stated that it destroyed my car his career my marriage, my education, and has taken everything away from him. Then the, ev the evangelist who attended to me told me, oh, that the evil spirit was responsible for everything, and he I was declared free. And I was advised to make God's word the standard for my life and maintain the blessing I have received. People of God, today I am free, and I no longer feel any stomach ache, any difficulty in breathing, or any other sickness. I am totally free. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. In my love, indeed, this is a near of my new name. Acabamos de escuchar el testimonio de Abacaisi de Ghana. Nos comenta que sufría de úlcera y esto le causaba dolor de cabeza y estómago. Llegó a estar hospitalizado. Llamó a la línea de oración y expulsó una sustancia blanquecina. Y el espíritu causante del problema se manifestó y él fue declarado libre luego de llamar a la línea de oración de Manuel TV. Desde entonces está completamente libre y da toda la gloria a Jesucristo por este maravilloso milagro. Abacaisi, originario de Ghana, nos escribe. Il dit le 1er janvier 2024, après avoir pris son bain du soir, il n'arrivait plus à se lever, à respirer correctement et il avait de sérieux maux d'estomac. Sa femme et d'autres membres de sa famille l'ont aidé à se rendre à l'hôpital où il y a été admis et soigné pour un ulcère. Il est, de, il est sorti de l'hôpital le 3 janvier 2024 avec quelques médicaments à prendre à la maison. Mais la situation n'a pas changé du tout. Le 13 janvier 2024... Il a décidé de faire un appel à la ligne de prière d'Imanuel TV et il a reçu la prière. Il a été délivré de l'emprise d'un mauvais esprit. « Aujourd'hui, je suis libre », dit-il. Il ne ressent plus de maux d'estomac, il n'a plus de difficultés à respirer, il est complètement libéré. Sa famille et son mariage sont libérés, dit-il. Merci Jésus. Emmanuel. People of God, these are the very few testimonies that time will permit us to read because of other activities ahead of us. Remember to God's power, nothing is impossible. All you have to do is to believe because believing is our connection through Christ Jesus. 
Remember, someone is waiting out there to listen to your testimony, to get them out of their desperate situation. Viewers all over the world, thank you very much for sending in your testimony. I will rejoice with you regarding what God is doing in your life. Remember that Prophet T.B. Joshua says, when you acknowledge God as the healer, as the deliverer, as the savior, he will do it again and again in your life. You can reach us on our official email address at info at and our various social media platforms regarding your testimony. You can now watch Emmanuel TV, on our HD free to head decoder and on Emmanuel TV app. Stay in faith and stay blessed. And always remember, better is not good enough. The best is yet to come. Pueblo de Dios, estos son unos pocos testimonios que podemos leer debido al tiempo que tenemos. Hay otras actividades del servicio de hoy. Para el poder de Dios no hay nada imposible, solo debes creer. El creer es tu conexión con Jesucristo. Espectadores, gracias por enviarnos sus testimonios. Nos regocijamos con lo que Dios está haciendo en sus vidas. Recuerda que hay alguien esperando escuchar tu testimonio. Puedes enviar tu testimonio a través de nuestro correo electrónico oficial info.escoan.org. Permanece bendecido. Recuerda que bueno no es suficiente, lo mejor está por venir. Peuple de Dieu, ce sont les quelques témoignages que le temps nous permet de lire à cause des autres activités qui nous attendent. Rappelez-vous qu'à la puissance de Dieu, rien n'est impossible. Tout ce que vous avez à faire, c'est de croire. Télésateurs du monde entier, nous nous réjouissons avec vous des grandes choses que Dieu a faites dans votre vie. Vous pouvez toujours nous contacter sur nos différentes plateformes de médias sociaux. Gardez foi et restez bénis. Rappelez-vous que ce qui est mieux n'est pas assez bon, le meilleur reste toujours à venir. Emmanuel. People of God. The Emmanuel TV Android Installation Guide. Step 1. Open your preferred mobile browser and visit Emmanuel TV. Step 2. On the Emmanuel TV website, tap on the three lines at the top right corner of the screen to open the pop-up menu and tap on TV Guide then Emmanuel TV Guide. Word. All on the Emmanuel TV mobile app. Available now on the Apple App Store, Samsung Galaxy Store, and Amazon App Store for Android. Alternatively, watch live on Emmanuel.tv and also on Apple TV, Roku TV, Fire TV Stick, and Android TV. Download the Emmanuel TV mobile app. Find your favorite sermon. Watch Emmanuel TV live. Stay in tune with God's Word. All on the Emmanuel TV mobile app. Available now on the Apple App Store, Samsung Galaxy Store, and Amazon App Store for Android. Alternatively, watch live on Emmanuel.tv and also on Apple TV, Roku TV, Fire TV Stick, and Android TV. Down in this place, in this arena, in this ministry, Wave your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We th beautiful name hallelujah there is only one name there is only one name with power to sing power to sing oh only one name there is only one name with power to say with power to say let's sing together I'm 
time, lift up your voice and sing, Our God, God is champion. He's champion. He reigns forevermore.
one more time. And we'll wear your glory. And we we'll wear your glory. Jesus. And we we'll wear your glory. And we we'll wear your glory. One more time, say again. And we we'll wear your glory. And the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. Morning and win today. Win tomorrow. And win forever. Father, Lord, we thank you. Jesus Christ, we praise you. Holy Spirit, we glorify your mighty name. Father, we see and believe in your word that says that healing, deliverance, all of your blessings belongs to us. Oh, Lord God Almighty, we ask you to let your anointing fall afresh on your children here today in the name of Jesus Christ. Anointing that breaks every yoke as they refuse to buy the lies of Satan that reminds them of their inadequacies to receive from you. Oh Lord God Almighty, your word in the book of 1 Corinthians 5 verse 17 says that if any man is in you, he's a new creation. Old thing passed away, every other thing becomes new. Father, your children have been crucified. Their old ways of life has been crucified. Let them find that new man in you. A new man that is renewed in strength, in wisdom, in power. Father God, a new man that is created in your image and likeness to reign and to rule with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. 
Let us put our hands together and clap for the Lord. Put your hands together and clap for Jesus. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. God is with us. Please do have your seat. Thank you, Lord. I want to say big things to all the Synagogue Church of All Nations members around the globe. A new man that is renewed in strength. Emmanuel TV partners around the world. Lovers of Squam, our way wishes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I say thank you again. I am thanking you for your love, your care, your support, your prayers. Towards this great mission of changing lives, changing nations, and changing the world. We know that as we go the way of the cross, we will smile at difficulties. We will smile at challenges. We will smile at insults. Knowing that they are meant to improve us, not to impair us. As a child of God, a man and woman of faith. When you are weak, then you are strong because there is no real evil in your weakness. Nothing happens for nothing. Nothing happens by chance. As a Christian, each step you take serves a purpose. Our Father in the Lord, Prophet David Joshua, do say to us, says, that a man that who does not love, a man who does not love, will not forgive and cannot be entrusted with a power to heal, to deliver, to bless. Because they will hurt themselves and others with it. I want to thank God Almighty for his presence in Ghana. It was a mission accomplished. Thank you, Lord. And I want to let you know something this morning. When you stand in prayer to God, just picture yourself. Picture yourself. And you see a mere shadow in the picture. Everything you have, everything about you, inside and outside of you, it's actually been borrowed from God. And so I say to you, my brethren, contentment is all about, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I also encourage you this morning. Pray for your persecutors. Pray for them. For if the gospel be not a savior of life unto life. It will be a savior of death unto death. I just want us to look at the scriptures in the book of Psalm 84, verse 11. Let's see what is there. Are we there? Psalm 84, verse 11 says, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose work is blameless. This picture reminds you that God loves you. He cares for you. He protects you. He is your sun and a shield. He withhold nothing from you. As long as your ways are right with him. And so my brethren, I pray for you this morning. I pray to God Almighty to make you that man, that woman, that father, that husband, that wife, that child, whose trust is in God. 
in totality. Who has joy and love in seeing and knowing that God's hand is at work in his or her life till eternity? I pray for you. God will give you a new life. A new purpose. A new song. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you once again. I thank you all very much. Thank you. Yes. This morning we will bring in some of the cliffs of the veins in Ghana. It was a beautiful outing. To God be the glory. <laughs> Apart from the revival itself, the giving ministry. That is another ministry in this mission. And our partners meeting. We will bring you some of the clips of the event there. So relax and be blessed as you watch in Jesus' name. God bless you all. God bless you. Your neighbor, good morning and win today. Good morning. Say to the next neighbor, good morning and win today. Good and greet the viewers, good morning and win today. Good morning and win today. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, the Bible says, in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. Yes. I believe you are happy. Yes. May the joy be permanent in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Please have your seat in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes, on behalf of our mother in the Lord, the woman in the synagogue. Fast. Hallelujah. On behalf of the woman in the synagogue, Pastor Mrs. Evelyn Joshua, we welcome you all in the name of Jesus. And with the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe we are all partners of Christ. Yes. The man of God says that being a partner is a calling from God. And we thank you all for answering this call. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. People of God. We are gathered here today because focus was not broken. Then it was a neighbor. We are gathered here today because focus was not broken. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, we are here today because focus was not broken. 
Remember, broken focus is the real reason men fail. People of God, the Bible says that there is great productivity when the team works together in unity and in one spirit. Indeed, we are a team. Tell your neighbor, we are a team. We are a team. I can hear you. You have to say with a smile on your face. Say, we are a team. Man of God says that whether we plant or we water, we are what? We are a team as Christians. We are one another's strength. We need one another to make it in our respective calling. Man of God said that we need good, informed, and inspired people to make it in our respective calling. People of God, there is no better encouragement, no better joy, no better growth than when you find yourself in the midst of good people, inspired people, men and women of integrity like we have here today. Once again, we say thank you to you. Partners, we say thank you for making yourself available to be used by God. To reach out to a troubled world. Hallelujah. Yeah, the book of 1 John chapter 4 verse 16 says that God is love. And he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. So we thank you partners, those present here and those watching us from all over the world, we say a big thank you to you for embracing God's kind of love and reaching out to a troubled world. We thank you for your faith, for your love. Remember, our faith in Christ and our love for him unifies the people of God the more. People of God, love as a language that transcends all languages, all barriers, and all distance. And it is this love that connects us together as Emmanuel TV partners. It is this unconditional love that helps us to forge ahead in sustaining the evangelical project of Emmanuel TV. People of God, the truth is this. The tax is huge. The tax is challenging. But with you, our partners by our side, we can go on and go forth. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The tax is huge. My Bible says that we are living in a world that is dominated by Satan. So the tax is huge. But with your prayers and your love, we can conquer this world of falsehood, the world of poverty, the world of sickness. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Once again, on behalf of the woman in the synagogue, the woman of faith, the woman of endurance, perseverance, the woman of patience, the woman in the synagogue, Pastor Mrs. Evelyn Joshua, we say thank you to you in Jesus' name. We say thank you for standing with the ministry. We say thank you for loving Prophet T.B. Joshua. We say thank you for loving Pastor Mrs. Evelyn Joshua. Hallelujah. Yes, partners, we say a big thank you to you. Despite all the events that has unfolded over the last few years, your love for the ministry did not reduce. Rather, it increased. <laughs> Truly, only those that fear the Lord can show such a sincere love. We say thank you for having the fear of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Partners who pray 
that the love you show, the care that you give, and the patience and perseverance that you show will return to you a thousandfold, a millionfold, in Jesus' name. Man of God used to say, nothing makes us love a person than praying for them. So partners, we thank you for your prayers. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your support. We thank you for making yourself a channel for God to use. To reach out to the sick, the lonely, and the society. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. May God bless you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Once again, we say thank you for your time. And thank you for loving Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. May God bless his word in our hearts. Thank you, Jesus. is for the synagogians. This meeting is for the lovers of the synagogue. Lovers of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Lovers of Evelyn Joshua. People who love themselves and God. Thank you, Jesus. Please have your seats. I'm just here to say thank you very much. I'm thanking you all. And I want to let you know that we are praying for you. Yes, we are praying for you. One great thing I learned from the prophet is the life of prayer. Yes, we are praying for you. You can't do it alone. Yes, we are here because we are a team. We are the people making things to walk in the synagogue. Yeah. But I tell you, there are still some people, you don't see them, but they are walking. 
You go back to the synagogue now. I can assure you, you have nothing less than 30 men and women prayer warriors. So one thing I have learned from the prophet is prayer. He invests into prayer. You cannot do it alone. When the Bible says that the angels, hosts of angels, they pray 24 hours, it is not a joke. They do. Yes, the Bible says so, and I can tell you that it's possible here. Yes, yes back in the synagogue. And that is what is still happening now. Yes. We are praying for you. Yes. As we are here, people are praying for you. Yes. 24 hours, they are committed to your assignment. Amen. Amen. So like I said, I came to say thank you very much. I appreciate your commitment, your love, your zeal towards this ministry to make sure that things is working. What can we do without you? Where will we be without you? We talk about the legacy of Prophet T.B. Joshua. All this legacy must continue. It is because you are there. You are there. And so I want to say a big thank you to every one of you. Who key to the mission, the vision of Prophet T.B. Joshua? Vision of changing lives, changing nations, and changing the world. Reaching out to the troubled world through charitable acts. That is what we are known for. The legacy will continue. Amen. I just want to remind you of one Bible verse. That is just one Bible verse that talks about you being a lender to God. You can lend to God. <laughs> the God that gave you everything. Everything you have, every good thing you have comes from God. The one you are going to have tomorrow will come from him. But this Bible verse talks about you lending to God. What a privilege to lend to God. The book of Proverbs 19 verse 17. When you give generously, you are lending to God. And it's not in vain. There's a reward. He said he will pay you back. God will pay you back in thousand folds. So your labor of love is not in vain. Your labor of love is not in vain. As you give out, you are doing what? You are sowing seed that will be multiplied back to you. You are inspiring people. Today people will argue. Hey, when I want to do charity, why must I do it to everyone to see? Do it. You are inspiring people. Most people don't know that they have to give out their argument. God says you do it, nobody will see. Do it, let people see it. If what you are doing is right, if it's worthy to give, you give it out. So that others could learn from you. I know that is right. It's worth doing. That is what every one of you is doing. We are a team. When we move out, people marveled. How are they doing it? It is because you are there. And we must continue. Yes, we must continue. God Almighty who has started his good job in your life will accomplish it. There's abundance of everything you will ever desire or require to live your life right over there. And so my people, when we give in humility, in sincerity of heart, 
You are just like God. Because the Bible told us how he gave us his son. He gave us his son to become our savior. What he cherished most, he gave to you. He sacrificed for you. So what is that that is too much for you to sacrifice for God? Out of the abundance of what he has given to you, your time, your love, your money, your smile, you deserve the best. Because you are giving out your best. When you give, you are strengthening your faith in God Almighty. Because you see the reward of what you are doing. If God has said it in his word, he will do it. Say he will reward you. As long as you play your role in accordance to the scripture, God will pay you back. So like I said, I'm here to appreciate you. Thank you. Do not relent. We know Christ Jesus. So we are free from every bondage. We are free from every bondage. You are giving. You are investing. Eternity. That is where all ends. Where you will give account of your life. What have you done with what God has given to you? You must see giving as a priority, not opportunity. This is a priority. This is what I must do as a child of God. Out of nothing, give out something. And you see if it will not multiply. So thank you all my sisters, my brothers. Thank you, people who are making things to walk in the synagogue. When I think of you, I stand. God bless you. God bless you. You've given your best. You deserve the best. Shall you say, say, crying does not save soul. It's your trust. You believe in God. You believe in Christ Jesus. That saves soul. What is that problem? It's okay. okay. Can we talk? Okay. <laughs> life is the most important thing. For the fact that you are alive, you are breathing. The debt will be paid. Amen. Amen. Yes, it will be paid. Amen. So don't commit suicide. 
Don't worry, it will be paid. Oh. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. God bless you. That is why we are here. Be your sister, be your brother's keeper. What does it benefit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Good morning everyone, my name is Abiba Musa. The man standing by me is my humble husband. He's from Kufuridria and I'm from Bonahafu region, Domahinku, in Ghana. Tell us what exactly was it that you are trying to explain to the woman of God in today's service? Okay, I was trying to tell her that I'm in debt and a bank wants to prosecute me, which I don't have the strength to pay. So looking at all this, I said, no, I won't let the woman of God leave this nation. Because if she leaves this nation, where am I going to get someone to pay? I don't have a mother, neither a father. So that's how come I, I just rushed out crying for help. And indeed, she told me Jesus will pay. Before the program, our hope was that we are coming to pray. And after the prayers, we don't know what is going to happen. If they will send us to jail, we don't know. Whilst the woman of God was preaching, talking to us, appreciating Ghanaians' her effort in the service, all of a sudden, I, I heard my wife shouting, crying. So I only heard the woman of God saying, Sister, come, bring her. And when I heard her voice, I just, I, I, I felt relieved. And this very document you are seeing here, is the document we received from the bank, 7th February 2024, telling us to pay 50% of their money, which is the 88,600. So this is the 50%, and this is the 31st of March. They are expecting the 50%. All these documents are proof of the transactions we made and then the letter from the bank. Right now, in US dollars, it will be around 8,000 US dollars, according to the rate now in this nation, Ghana. On behalf of the woman of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, and Emmanuel TV partners worldwide, we are presenting to you a sum of 99,600 Ghana cities. From the woman of God, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, she said, the debt is 88,600 cities. But she's, she has asked us to present to you 99,600 Ghana cities. Now you have extra 11,000 Ghana cities. A very big thank you to the Synagogue Church of All Nations, to the partners all over the world. Don't stop helping this ministry. It is real. I've experienced it today. Mama Evelyn Joshua, may God bless you. Continue the hard work. God is still watching you from heaven. Whatever you are desiring, God will give it to you. Nobody knew my mind when I came out. When I was crying, no usher has heard this from my mouth. I just came out crying for help. I came out crying for help. 
And she said, my debts will be paid. They don't, they don't know anything about me, neither my story. And look at it, it is real, this is money. It is money they have given to me. I'm really full of joy. See, I'm supposed to pay 88,600. They've given me 99,600, extra 10,000 on it. It has really increased my faith in the service of God. And my generations, my third, third generations and fourth generations will forever, forever hear of this. Joy of God will never depart from your life. The grace of God will never depart from your family. It is well with you. It is well with your job. It is well with your career. It is well with your ways. Well with your marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ. So you have your gift here. That is for you. Amen. You deserve it. To encourage you that your effort is not in vain. Your work of love is not in vain. And God will continue to prosper you. You are committed to this vision. Mission that is given to the prophets. God Almighty will continue to be with you. He will continue to bless the work of your hand. You will rise above your challenges. You will rise above your difficulties. God Almighty will set table before you in the presence of your enemies. They will glorify your God. They will honor your God. They will praise your God. Even in no lands, strange lands, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lord.
CCTV team visited one of several malls in Accra, Ghana, in preparation for the Ghana charity. They scanned the aisles and loaded their trolleys with items on the shopping list. Washing up liquid, bags of rice and four litre bottles of cooking oil were among the items picked. Various different types of foodstuffs were loaded into the trolleys according to the needs of the community, which were ascertained on a prior visit to the community elders. The Emanuel TV team purchased and labelled these large containers to pack the gift items and worked in unison some hours later to arrange the purchased gifts for the needy. Large bags of rice, traditional Ghanaian clothing and material were all part of the gifts to be given to a community in Accra, Ghana. In the later hours of the night, the Emanuel TV team distributed the gift items in each box in preparation for the charity the next day. Once fully packed and sealed, it was time to upload the gift items into the truck. Pastor Evelyn Joshua and the Emmanuel TV team moved in convoy during a two-hour journey to the remote Doyimushai community in the greater Accra region of Ghana. The team disembarked the bus and so too Pastor Evelyn Joshua's vehicle is not far behind. The truck with the gift items is getting ready to offload as the physically challenged, elderly, widows and widowers of the community make their way to the venue. Good morning and win today, Emmanuel. In line with Prophet TV Joshua's teaching, that a gift can serve as an act of worship to God and at the same time inspire other people's faith and thanksgiving. Pastor Evelyn Joshua, together with the Emmanuel TV team, have set out on a charity mission of love with gifts for the needy in the remote areas in Doyumo, in the Shy Hills communities of the greater Accra region in the Republic of Ghana. Among the needy are the physically challenged, orphans, elderly, and widows. The Bible admonishes all true Christians to reach out in compassion and generosity and give cheerfully. Join us as we give to a community in need, remembering that God loves a cheerful giver. Emmanuel. Pastor Evelyn Joshua alights from the vehicle. She's met by the elders of the Doimu community, among whom stand chiefs and family heads. She honors them, appreciating their warm welcome. Pastor Evelyn Joshua makes her way to rejoin the Emmanuel TV team. The local traditional band in Doyimu community provide the welcome music and entertainment. Pastor Evelyn Joshua so naturally takes to the charity dance floor and joins the traditional dancers with her coordinated and unrehearsed moves, blending with the professional dancers. It was a dance of gratitude, unity and love for a community who accepted what Pastor Evelyn Joshua and her team came to give. Mama, welcome, Mama, welcome, Mama, welcome. You are welcome to Doyumu. Uh, this is Doyumu Shai Osudoku uh, constituency. Uh, these are your people, and then these are your elders. We are your MC for the day. You are welcome. Thank you very much. I am Pastor Mrs. Evelyn Joshua. And by the grace of God, I am the leader of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Lagos, Nigeria. First, I want to start by appreciating our elders. Our elders, I know what it means. 
This is our continent, Africa. Let us be at this side. In African community, we have people like this. And so I want to say thank you very much for being here today. Thank you all. God bless you for keeping this community, for uniting your people, living in peace and harmony. It is collective responsibility, and that is what we are doing. So I greet you all. Thank you, my elders. Thank you very much. And to my mothers and brothers, my mothers, my fathers, sitting down here, I will greet you all in the name of the Lord. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. When I say Emmanuel, you say God is with us. Emmanuel, God is with us. So I greet you again, Emmanuel. God is with us. That is the reason why we are here, because God is with us. You are sitting down here today because God is with you. So I greet you all once again, Emmanuel. We are here on assignment. Assignment from God. It is not by power. It is not by might. But by the grace of God. And so we are here on assignment. That is an assignment from God. A vision given. To our Father in the Lord, Prophet T.B. Joshua. Energy, hand on the Nako, Ne Yawe Monk, and Hatwache, T.B. Joshua, Loko Ekejiwahi, Ne Jaman and the Yamu, no one. Though he has gone to be with the Lord, but his legacy lives on. And I'm Ka, a Boakati, Ne Eke, Cho, Yange, say, a Nipe Peck and the Yapuji Chumio Mele. These are the foundation it has laid down. And we must continue with that. He told us that when you come to a place, you come to a land, and the people of the land welcomes you. And the power of God moves. Before you leave that land, you must bless the people. I know, I know, I know, I know, Ghana is a second home to me. I'm not new in this land. I may never have been to this community, but I'm not new to the land of Ghana. Ghana for the past one week, we have been in this land. We have been in this land to evangelize. Talk more about Christ Jesus. Talk about his love. Talk about his goodness. You received us. And God proved himself in your life. And for so doing, we are here to bless you. I just want to use this opportunity to tell you that Jesus is our life. Jesus Christ is our life. This, this is what he's known for. The Bible told us that he went about touching life, feeding those who are hungry, restoring peace, harmony into the life of people. 
Eke eno ne jo kadi ne choka Yesu ebo we seke wonge. Ni ko meki keno eke kanya ya ni ane tu enjom kake pem swami ne eba ne jana sehu ya bani ya Johni ya Kenny. And this is part of his teaching, giving. Giving, giving. giving. was part of Christ's teaching to us. You don't have to have much before you give. You do not have to have much before you give. Everything you have. Your smile. Your smile. Your money, your time, obey. Give it to God. That is what you are doing. This is your time. You are giving your time to Christ Jesus today. If, if we say we are coming and you said I don't have time to come, we can't force you from your home. You are, you are giving your time to God. You are giving your smile to God. I saw many of you laughing, dancing with us. Nothing is too small to give to God. So thank you very much. Thank you for coming out today. Thank you for coming out. Out of the abundance that God has given to us as a ministry. Emmanuel TV partners all over the world. Emmanuel TV. Partners. This is a collective effort. Collective effort. People. Out of the abundance of their hearts, they provide. And so it, 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 it makes it possible, it makes it easier for us to come in this form. And so I'm begging you all. I am begging you all. Praying for them. Praying for them. Pray for them. Yes, the Emmanuel TV partners all over the world. Yes, God bless you. God bless you all. God bless you. Yes, Emmanuel TV. And so I bless this today. Father God Almighty, everlasting King of Glory. You say we should go. Here we are. You've given us. You mandated us to give out to those who are in need. And we have come today as you instructed us to do. Father, we bless everything here today in the name of Jesus Christ. As they will be receiving it to their house, to their lives. Father, multiply it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, fill them with your love. Fill them with your peace. Give them a satisfying spirit. Contented spirit. Knowing that you are able to do more than they can ever ask or desire. Almighty God, bless everyone here today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, bless everyone here today in the name of Jesus Christ. To all who will partake, whether they are here or not, who will have a share from all you have given to us today to give to your people. Lord God, give them spirits of fulfillment in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Touch their lives. Touch their lives. Touch their lives. Heal their wounds. Fill them with your love. Fill them with your peace. Fill them with your grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. So we bless this community. I encourage you all. 
live at peace with each other. That's what the Bible told us. It's, if it is possible, if it is possible, if it is possible, leave. 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 It is very, very possible. So I bless you all. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Mama, thank you. 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 Uh, that is Mrs. Uh, T.B. Joshua. So my fathers. Thank you very much once again. You make all these things to happen. If you don't rule your people well, you call them, they will not answer you. If you are going to give them, they said no. We are not going to attend to that. But you are doing well. And yeah, you are doing well. You are doing well. You are registered in our hearts. Because you have account to give one day. We have a creator. Who will all give account to? This is my stewardship. Why I'm here. I just talked about Prophet T.B. Joshua. This is what he has taught us. And that is what we are doing. So, we bless this community. We Lord, what can I do? With the storm of The Emanuel TV Android Installation Guide Step 1. Open your preferred mobile browser and visit Emanuel TV. Step 2. On the Emanuel TV website, tap on the three lines at the top right corner of the screen to open the pop-up menu and tap on TV Guide, then Emanuel TV Guide. Step 3. On the TV Guide page, Scroll down to the download section and tap on the download button to initiate the download. Note, as a result of downloading the app via the website and not the Google Play Store, ignore the error message and proceed. Step 4. Locate the Emanuel TV APK file and tap on it to open. Follow the screen prompts to grant permissions needed to install the app. Step 5. Open the app and enjoy the undiluted Word of God anytime and anywhere. You can also download the Emmanuel TV app from the Galaxy Store or the Amazon App Store for Android. Emmanuel. God with us. The Emmanuel TV Android Installation Guide. Step 1. Open your preferred mobile browser and visit Emmanuel TV. Step 2. On the Emmanuel TV website, tap on the three lines at the top right corner of the screen to open the pop-up menu and tap on TV Guide, then Emmanuel TV Guide. Step 3. On the TV Guide page, scroll down to the download section and tap on the download button to initiate the download. Note, as a result of downloading the app via the website, and not the Google Play Store. Ignore the error message and proceed. Step 4. Locate the Emmanuel TV APK file and tap on it to open. Follow the screen prompts to grant permissions needed to install the app. Step 5. Open the app and enjoy the undiluted Word of God anytime and anywhere. You can also download the Emmanuel TV app from the Galaxy Store or the Amazon App Store for Android.
Emmanuel, God with us. The Emmanuel TV Android Installation Guide. Step 1. Open your preferred mobile browser and visit Emmanuel TV. Step 2. On the Emmanuel TV website, tap on the three lines at the top right corner of the screen to open the pop up menu and tap on TV Guide, then Emmanuel TV Guide. Step 3. On the TV Guide page, scroll down to the Download section and tap on the Download button to initiate the download. Note, as a result of downloading the app via the website and not the Google Play Store, ignore the error message and proceed. Step 4. Locate the Emmanuel TV APK file and tap on it to open. Follow the screen prompts to grant permissions needed to install the app. Step 5. Open the app and enjoy the undiluted Word of God anytime and anywhere. You can also download the Emmanuel TV app from the Galaxy Store or the Amazon App Store for Android. Emmanuel. God with us. The Emmanuel TV Android Installation Guide. Step 1. Open your preferred mobile browser and visit Emmanuel TV. Step 2. On the Emmanuel TV website, tap on the three lines at uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. My name is uh, Honorable Linda Obinewa Akwele Oklu. I'm the MP for the area, Chai, MP Chai. for Shai Osudoku constituency. Thank you so much. I don't know what to say. In fact, what I just witnessed is amazing. On behalf of myself, I want to say a big thank you to Synagogue Church, to be precise, Mrs. T.B. Joshua. 
And I hope this is going to go a long way in saving lives here. You can see that we are in a very deplorable uh, community and the people need a lot. In fact, we are most grateful. God bless you. The widows says God bless you. The agent, the chiefs and their community as well. We are most grateful to you. God bless you so much. My name is Nenayao Opata. I'm from Blangyawim. I'm the head of the family. I'm the head of the town. We are very happy that uh, we have Reverend uh, Joshua in our midst to come and share things to us. We are happy about this, uh, uh, this uh, TV. Help, we have been helping the country. Everything we have been uh, doing to Ghana and all over, we are happy. My name is Nana Naki Doyumum. I am the queen. I am the queen mother of the community. I am the queen mother of the community. I am the queen mother of the community. Provisions that they say a lot near my me to me body. And to know, mess, Yanko Ponce, and now I dare you who are here, a busy a crumb had that. Yanko Pon, a man, a trust of my and trust of my Midanasi Bebre, or near my one, or the other doom do you, Yehoa, or Shran. What our Queen Mother is trying to tell us is that throughout her life, ever since she's been a Queen Mother for many years, she has never experienced this kind of charitable act given to this community in her life. She is overwhelmed by what she's seen, the items that has been presented, the gifts, clothing items, oil, rice, and so many other things she cannot mention here. She would want the ministry to be blessed mightily by God, and she would wants the Emmanuel TV partners to be blessed also. She also wants the Emmanuel TV partners and Pastor Evelyn Joshua to remember this community in prayer always. But first of all, she blesses the Emmanuel TV partners and she blesses Pastor Evelyn Joshua. Keep watching Emmanuel TV every day and night. May God bless you all. My name is uh, Nana Yodedenya who has ready first. My position is progressive. I'm very, very, very happy this morning for what TV Joshua and the people have done for us. May God richly bless them. 
Everybody in the world is seeing our town. We are happy. And all the old men are happy. God richly bless him. Oh, pastor, you are really doing the work of God. So you are doing the will of God. And God will enlighten the old men are happy. God richly bless him. Oh, pastor, you are really doing the work of God. So you are doing the will of God. And God will enlarge your territory. And God will bless you. Bless you abundantly. So that your aim or your purpose of doing this will go beyond and above. Thank you, Pastor Joshua and Emmanuel TV Partners. My name is Honorable Linda Obinewa Akwele Oklu. I'm the MP for Shai Osu constituency. And today, in fact, we are witnessing such uh, a gesture from uh, Pastor Mrs. Evelyn Joshua. In my lifetime, I've been an MP. This is my third term of becoming the MP. I've never seen such a gesture before. In fact, it's amazing. And all that we want to say is that we want to say a very big thank you to Pastor Mrs. Uh, T.B. Joshua and the Synagogue Church. We are most, most grateful. You could see that you've put in a smile on the faces of the people. That is all that we want and we are most grateful to Synagogue Church. I want to tell you, the whole world, please keep watching Emmanuel TV, the only TV that changes lives. My name is Nene Anoban Sastraku II. I am the chief responsible for rites and rituals in this town. Normally, I, I do call uh, Pastor Evelyn, I call her Mama Evelyn. In fact, what she has done is overwhelming. We didn't believe it will happen, and it has happened. We pray for God's blessings, God's guidance for Mama Evelyn. May the good Lord shower his blessings on Mama Evelyn in her whole lifetime. Thank you very much. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. I'm Asafuache Ajano, Akokra, the fourth of Doyumu, a chief of Doyumu Betesi. And then I have appreciated what Pastor Evelyn Joshua came to do here. But we have appreciated it a lot. It was a great pleasure that he came to donate so many things. We cannot count it. It's uncountable. We have appreciated what he did. We thank you so much. Keep watching Emmanuel TV. Keep watching Imana TV. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That is from a grateful heart. We we'll forever be grateful to God Almighty. We we'll ever be grateful to God. We are on a mission. Mission of changing lives, changing nations, and changing the world. We cannot actualize this alone. So we need each other. Please do not be tired. Let us continue to put smile into people's face and hearts by doing all we can do for them. Nothing is too little to give out. Nothing is too little to give out. Just make sure your heart is free as you give. And it will multiply back to you. So God bless you all. Thank you. We are back from Ghana. Thanks for your prayers once again. Amen. Amen. Uh, how are we doing? How is Nigeria? It is well with us. It is well with our nation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. 
Thank you, Lord. So here we are again. This is our church. What we are called to do. The work of God. If Jesus Christ came and preached the gospel alone to us, without teaching us, practicalizing what we are taught, I don't think it will be complete. He taught us and asked us to act on what we learn. It is by your faith that that can be possible. Your faith in God. The Bible says that with God, everything is possible. With him, everything is possible. And if you say something and your heart does not condemn you about that, it will come to pass. Like I'm here today, I believe in Christ Jesus. Yes, I believe in him. That all who are here, looking unto him to receive, they will receive. They will be touched. Because he's alive. He never said goodbye. His power is even more effective now than ever before. So thank you. Jesus Christ is worthy of our faith. Yes. He never fails. He never changes. God bless you all. Thank you very much. So here are the children of God. We are in a world without faith and hope. But we have hope. We have hope. Because we are children of God. Yes, we can encounter challenges. In forms of what we are seeing here, sickness and affliction. But they are not unto death, but to glorify God. And so they will be touched today. And all glory will be given to our Lord and King, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. A woman of God, help me. My name is Victoria Majoyi. I am facing difficulty in working. I cannot work well. I have pains in my legs. Woman of God, help me. Woman of God, help me. God's word never returns to him void, and your weakness. You're witnessing God Almighty restore divine health into the lives of people. Remember, when Jesus enters our lives, he puts an end to our past and gives birth to our future. So, the people and restoring divine health in Christ Jesus. Viewers over the world, wherever you are, begin to open the doors of your heart. Thank you, Jesus. And, Thank you, Lord. I'm and begin to claim your healing by faith in Lord. Jesus' Thank name. You, Thank you, Jesus. Witness the woman receive divine healing from the problem of difficulty in walking. Jesus. Watch Thank her testify you. to the glory of God. Espectadores de todo el mundo, estamos viendo la línea de oración en vivo y en directo desde la Arena de la Libertad, la Sinagoga Iglesia de Todas las Naciones, Lagos, Nigeria. La pastora Benin Joshua está imponiendo manos ungidas en el poder del Espíritu Santo y en el nombre de Jesucristo. Hay sanidad en el nombre de Jesús. Hoy puede ser tu día, así que toca tu pantalla y recibe. Never a sickness he cannot heal, never a disease he cannot cure, never a burden he cannot solve, My never a problem he cannot Achukeste solve. My name is Achukeste Latazo from Cameroon. Mm -hmm. I came here with the problem of a lumbar disc hernia. As a woman of God prayed for me, the, the numbness in my body just left me immediately. The numbness left me immediately. The pains left me immediately. Now I'm free. Now I can walk now. Now I can walk. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. No more pains. No, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Y hemos visto a esta mujer caminar libre para la gloria de Dios. Y la pastora Belén Joshua continúa orando por este hombre que tiene dificultad para caminar. Está usando un collarín. Tiene una enfermedad degenerativa cervical. 
y Dios está tocando su casa ahora. La pastora Belén Joshua ministra oración, impone manos ungidas en el poder del Espíritu Santo y en el nombre del gran sanador Jesucristo. Viewers, you're witnessing divine healing take place at the Arena of Liberty, the synagogue church of all nations. Watch how God Almighty is in the faculties of the man of God to minister divine healing to the life of that man. God Almighty is repairing all that needs to be repaired in his body and restoring him back to his normal position in Christ Jesus. Viewers, wherever you are, you too can be healed, you too can be delivered, you too can be blessed, you too can be saved. All you need to do is open the doors of your heart and receive all that God Almighty has promised you in his word in Jesus' name. Y la palabra de Dios promete que en el nombre de Jesucristo habrá sanidad. Aquí está Jesucristo en escena para sanar al enfermo, para liberar al oprimido. La pastora Belén Yosua impone manos ungidas en la vida de este hombre. Espectadores, toca tu pantalla y recibe. Declarado sano para la gloria de Dios. Voy a ver cómo se toma, recibe su guerrilla en nombre de Jesucristo, la dificultad a marchar. That is the man who was Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Y este hombre camina y mueve su cuello libre ahora para la gloria de Dios. Continuez de regarder vos écrans, vous voyez comment cet homme est déclaré libre, il avait des difficultés à marcher, yeah. il avait une dégénération de la colonne vertébrale et maintenant il est déclaré libre. Regardez comment ce pasteur Evelyn Joshua prie pour les personnes qui sont dans la ligne de prière ici à la Reine de la Liberté au nom de Jésus-Christ. Thank you Jesus, I'm here, I'm here, thank you Jesus, I can stretch myself, I feel relief, oh thank you Jesus, thank you Lord, this wonderful healing. Hay sanidad en el nombre de Jesús. Vemos la reacción de esta mujer al recibir la oración, dificultad para caminar, que ha sido sanada para la gloria de Dios. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I cannot do like this. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. I'm free. My children are free. Thank you, Jesus. Y la pastora Belén Yosa continúa ministrando oración en el poder del Espíritu Santo. Vemos este hombre con dificultad para caminar, un problema que tiene desde hace ocho años y que Jesucristo está tocando ahora. La pastora Belén Yosa ministra en el poder del Espíritu Santo y en el nombre de Jesús. Espectadores, hay poder en el nombre de Jesús. Begin to open the doors of your heart. You can receive all God Almighty has promised you in his word. All you need to do is open the doors of your heart and receive all of your blessings, your healing, your deliverance by faith Thank in you Jesus' God, name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Continue, regardez vos écrans. Regardez comment il est déclaré libre au nom de Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can walk now. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hay sanidad en el nombre de Jesús. Este hombre con un problema de apendicitis Está recibiendo ese toque sanador que tan solo Jesucristo puede traer a escena. Vemos como la pastora Belén Joshua impone manos ungidas en el nombre de nuestro Señor y Salvador, Jesucristo. Estoy witnessing God's power in action right here at the Scorn Prayer Line. God Almighty restoring all that needs to be restored in the life of his people. Setting them completely free from whatever sickness, disease and affliction. Remember, never is sickness, Jesus Christ cannot heal. Never a disease it cannot cure. Never a problem it cannot solve. Declarado sano para la Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. You're witnessing the strongholds of sickness and diseases being pulled from the lives of the people. And God Almighty is restoring divine. I'm from Akwaibo State, Nigeria. I came here with difficulty in walking due to cervical spondylosis. Right now, when, man of, when the woman of God was praying for me, I felt relief and I am very strong now. So tell us, were you able to move your body or demonstrate your body? Because we saw you earlier exercising your body. Were you able to do that before? I was feeling pain all over my body and I was very weak. So right now, I am strong. I am strong now. I couldn't do all this thing before. I don't need all those things again. I don't need the neck collar and the waist support again. I don't need it anymore. I am free. Y vemos el poder de Thank Dios you, en Jesus, acción. for healing me. Thank you, Jesus. I can, I'm strong. My neck is restored. Everything around me is restored. To the glory of God in Jesus' mighty name. Thank That's you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For this wonderful healing. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Y damos toda la gloria a Dios por esta sanidad. La pastora Belén Joshua ministra oración en la vida de este hombre con dificultad para respirar desde hace nueve años. L'homme qui a la difficulté à respirer depuis neuf ans, que ce soit la prière de la serpent de Dieu, observez, l'Esprit de Dieu œuvre à travers la serpent de Dieu pour apporter la guérison et la restauration dans la vie de l'homme venu du Ghana. He sent forth his word and healed him. Viewers, you're witnessing the power of God's work at work. You're witnessing the people receive divine healing in the name of Jesus. God Almighty is uprooting the root cause of the sicknesses and diseases in their lives and restoring divine health to them. Wherever you are, you too can be healed, you too can be delivered, you too can be blessed, you too can be saved. All you need to do is open the doors of your heart and claim all that God Almighty has promised you in his word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How do you feel now? Y vemos a este hombre como respira libre para la gloria de Dios. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Hay poder en el nombre de Jesús. That was the man who came with the problem of difficulty in breathing, and we just with the glory of God. Viewers all over the world, wherever you are, you too can receive your divine healing. All you need to do is open the doors of your heart and claim all that God Almighty has. It's Emmanuel TV. Step two. On the Emmanuel TV website, tap on the three lines at the top right corner of the screen to open. Espectadores, continuamos aquí en la arena de la libertad donde el Espíritu Santo de Dios está disipando toda sombra de oscuridad de la vida de las personas que han venido aquí reunidos buscando su libertad. Jesucristo está operando con poder. Where's pain? I'm not pain. That's what I have cost for her. Ah! 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 Leave me alone, leave me alone. I don't want to deliver this baby. He's pregnant. Take this baby. It's of a God. I don't want to deliver. Once I lose, I don't lose I'll leave her. I don't want to be calling your new call your God, call your God. I don't want to. What have you done to her? This only be set free. We don't be set her free. What have you done to her? I start custom miscarriage every time. Well, this one's now. Every time we drink, if we call your neck on the neck, this time we say, I tell you, I don't want to be delivered. I don't want to. I start custom miscarriage every time. 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 I
This one, this one, this one. Every time you were using the song, if it's delivered, if it's delivered, I want that to be her. If it's delivered, if it's paid, I need to get a hotel. I have a document. Six, twenty, four, nine years. Ah! I have a hotel. He asked me. I don't want to talk. The Bible says in that book of Galatians 5 verse 1 that it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. So stand firm and do not let yourself be burdened by any yoke of slavery. Therefore, to receive that freedom is standing firm with Christ Jesus as Christ is the healer, Christ is the deliverer, and Christ is the Savior. Remember that God's will for you is to be physically ill and spiritually safe. It is the will of God to heal you. It is the will of God to bless us. It is the will of God to save and deliver us. Bear us around the world. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My man is free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Water. I live inside water. I live inside water. I live inside water. My name is Yabari Mushu. Yabari Mushu. Yabari Mushu. He's the only child of his mother. His, his father has nine sons, nine, nine children. Like more than 21. He's the only one's glorious one. You know that star. But they said we should ruin him. We should scatter him. We should scatter him. We should scatter him. We should, scatter him. We should stop his glory. We should end his life. He should be roaming about. He should just be like a madman. Yes. We don't know. We should take everything from him. His glory. We want his glory. My name is Yabari Musu. Ah! Leave me alone. Ah! Yeah, he's pregnancy. His mom was pregnant. He's, he's dead. He's dead. We are believing with him. Inside the womb. Inside the womb. I don't know how this year, sir. Say what? I don't know how this year, God said. Ah! What's happening to you now? What's happening to you now? Fire. 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 Thank you, Lord. Your rings. On your legs, your crown, your chain, in the name of Jesus Christ. Now remove everything. Thank you, Lord. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. 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 Be free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, be separated in Jesus' name. Stand up, you are free. Declarado libre para la gloria de Dios. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not free. I'm free. I'm free. To the Thank glory of Jesus. God, Thank you, Jesus. man has been declared free. All power in heaven and on earth has been invested in the name Jesus. Oh, in the name Jesus. Oh, I'm spiritual husband. What have you done to her? Of course, I've been disappointed, my failure. And <laughs> nothing good is coming out from her. That is body. Oh, from her father's house. Jesus name out my name you call yourself out the name of Jesus out thank you Lord out find the name of Jesus on zoom everything in Jesus name out thank you Lord you are free in Jesus name Gracias, Jesús. Esta mujer ha sido declarada oh, libre. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Remember that when God Almighty is in a place, 
you feel and see the move. That move is manifested here at the arena of liberty as a seeker being healed and delivered. You are around the world. You also can be a partaker of this divine healing, divine blessings, divine deliverance, divine breakthrough taking place right here at the arena of liberty. All you need to do is to step out in faith and receive all what God has made available for you in Jesus' name. Espectador, recuerda que estás en la arena de la libertad. Pon una demanda en la unción y recibe lo que Jesucristo tiene para ti. Sanidad, liberación, restauración y salvación. in life I scatter her business anytime she's want to move forward I'll take her back I cause her pain I said I don't want her to concede she has one baby a wicked woman in her business place I don't want her to move forward she's trying to concede I said no I thought I won't down are you the very huge iron I put in her womb that no matter what she cannot concede. And you are coming to this to oh. you are coming to yeah, no. 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 Oh. All power in heaven and on earth has been invested in the name Jesus. In the name Jesus is light. In the name Jesus is your freedom. In the name Jesus is all you are seeking Jesus, I am free. I'll come by and testify to the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. The woman has been declared free to the glory of God. Indeed, at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee must bow. Gracias, Jesus. Esta mujer. I'm from our compound. What have you done? Spirit of anger. Spirit of anger. Spirit of death. Of death. Depth. Depth. What, what have you caused to our family, you evil spirit? So far. Don't to this woman. I'm causing a starvation. How do you enter this body? From us. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have a spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Out. Spirit of death. Out, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are free in Jesus' name. Gracias, Jesús. Esta mujer es libre. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. To the glory of God, the woman is set free. Destroy her. Destroy her. Say what? Destroy her. What way? Who do you think she is? I kid her father. I kid her father. I kid her father. I was so destroy her. Her glory is too great. Ah, no, 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 no. This girl is too great. No, she must fall. From her father's father. From her father's father. I have destroyed. I have destroyed. Hush. Hush. From the father's side. From the father's side. He's talking about me holding for love. 
You are so men. <laughs> Special wife. <laughs> Document no release. <laughs> what? The fact that Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary made it unnecessary for you to suffer whatever you're suffering right now. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Remember, Jesus, este hombre ha sido declarado libre para la gloria de Dios. Espectadores, permanece conectado. Ve cómo el poder de Dios está liberando aquí a las personas que han venido con diferentes aflicciones por el poderoso nombre de Jesucristo. Remember that Jesus Christ has paid for your complete and total healing when he died on the cross of Calvary for your sake. Therefore, your situation does not embarrass Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, open the doors of your heart to receive from God's throne of grace. La pasteur Mijo Shoa admise la prière au nom de Jésus-Christ pour cette femme qui a un problème au niveau du cœur et souffre également de migraine. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. I'm delivered. Jesus Christ is still in the business of delivering the demon possessed, healing the sick, and setting the captives free. She's my wife. She's my wife. She's my forever. She's my wife. How do you enter this body? Spiritual husband. How is the name of Jesus? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Rise up, you are free in Jesus' name. Declarada libre de ese problema de diabetes. Declarada libre en nombre de Jesucristo. Say what? Find the name of Jesus. Who are you? What have you done to her? What have you done to her in the name of Jesus? Your head. Find the name of Jesus. All about your body. Find the name of Jesus. What have you done to her? Your legs. Find the name of Jesus. That leg. Find your legs in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Find the name of Jesus. Find the name of Jesus. Who are you? What have you done to her? The family. What have you done to her? You done to this woman. Who are you? What have you done to her in the name of Jesus Christ? Okay. Who are you? How do you destroy her life? Want to kill her. Want to kill her. Don't to the family. What is that? We're going home. No, they can't be together. They cannot make one. No. You destroyed the family. I've destroyed them. How do you enter this body? It's my child. It's my... The end has come in Jesus' name. Find the name of Jesus. Find the name of Jesus. Jesus. Find the name of Jesus Christ. All about your body. Find the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Out. Out the name of Jesus. Out. 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 Out.
Father, in the name of Jesus. What? In Jesus' name. Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus. Out, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out. Out, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out. You are free in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Merci Jésus, elle est déclarée libre pour la gloire de Dieu. Déclarée libre pour la gloire de Dieu. L'Esprit de Dieu continue d'utiliser les facultés de la serpente de Dieu, la pasteur Rivlin Joshua, et celui des évangélistes pour briser. I don't want that to be useful. How did you enter her body? <laughs> How did you enter her body? Huh? Where she was smart. So what have you destroyed in her? Have you destroyed her? Many things. <laughs> things like what? Many things. Good things. Thank you, my Jesus. So how many of you are in this body? <laughs> many. <laughs> Why did you allow her to come up? <laughs> I won. Fire name of Jesus. Fuck everything. Fire name of Jesus. Remove everything. Fire name of Jesus. Remove everything. Fire name of Jesus. Fire name of Jesus. Fire name of Jesus. Now move out. Move out. Thank you, Lord. Move out. Fire name of Jesus. <laughs> Move out. Saving my life. Le pasteur Rivlin Joshua prie pour cette femme qui a fait un AVC partiel. Au God, le Saint-Esprit à l'œuvre, restaurant tous les membres de son corps, son âme, au nom de Jésus-Christ. El espectador observa cómo la mujer de Dios, la pastora Evelyn Joshua y los evangelistas están orando aquí en la arena de la libertad por problemas con diferentes, por personas con diferentes problemas. Este hombre ha venido con un problema de dolor severo en su cintura y está recibiendo su sanidad para la gloria de Dios. Tú también puedes ser parte, conéctate en Facebook, toca tu pantalla en el nombre de Jesús. Hay cosa pain, pain, pain. No joy, no peace. She will not have rest of mine. She will suffer from her mother's place. Oh. Les évangélistes et la pasteur Rémi Joshua continuent à me faire la prière ici de la Reine de la Liberté. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. La pasteur Rémi Joshua prie pour cette femme qui a un problème au niveau du cœur et des poumons. Elle reçoit sa délivrance, les spectateurs restent connectés. That I am healed. Jesus Christ is my healer. I am delivered. Jesus Christ is my deliverer. I am safe. Jesus Christ is my savior. Wherever you are, 
Distance is never a barrier to the move of God. Begin to hold on to your confession of faith. Remember that Jesus Christ paid the price on the Calvary for your sake. L'administration de la prière pour la guérison et la délivrance continue toujours ici à l'Arc de la Liberté. L'Esprit de Dieu continue d'utiliser les facultés de la serpente de Dieu, la pasteur Yveline Joshua et celui des évangélistes pour briser toute chaîne que l'ennemi a pu utiliser pour connecter les enfants de Dieu à lui. What have you done to her? Yes. <laughs> what have you done to her? What have you done to her? I gave her some Tito eight. Now she's feeling pains every day, night. So who are you that give her something to eat? And the auntie from the father's family. So what are you doing to marriage? Family? Mm. What are you doing to family? Mm. What are you doing to family? Mm. Poor grace. Mm. How did you enter? Mm. How did you enter? Mm. You're not a stupid in the middle of the people. How did you enter? To her auntie. That's All over your body. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your head. In the name of Jesus. All over your body. Whatever you are hiding in his body. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That's too much. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you are hiding. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire all over your body. Fire all over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. Remove them. Fire in the name of Jesus. Now go out. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Out. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Rise up, you are free. Et le libre nom de Jésus-Christ. Déclarez la libre par la gloire de Dieu. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. My family Thank is you, free. Jesus. My children are free. Human has been set free. We are around the world. Remember that distance is never a barrier for you to receive your divine healing, your divine deliverance, your divine breakthrough. All you need to do is to connect by faith and receive all what God has made available for you in Jesus name. Espectador permanece conectado en fe y observa cómo la mujer de Dios, la pastora Evelyn Joshua, está orando por las personas aquí en la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones con diferentes problemas, con diferentes enfermedades, pero todas con la misma esperanza que es Jesucristo. Tú también puedes recibir en el nombre de Jesús. As you watch Gospel in action, remember that an effective witness of faith not only knows its faith, but shows it. Anywhere you are, you are all about the world. You too can be a partaker of what is happening right here. And you use your faith to put a demand anointing. Begin to use your faith and put a demand on the anointing and receive your blessing today in Jesus' name. Le prophète Tibi Joshua a dit que si des millions d'individus de cette génération doivent avoir foi en Jésus-Christ, ils doivent voir la preuve visible que Jésus-Christ est le même, hier, aujourd'hui, éternellement. Peuple de Dieu, nous sommes en train de témoigner de la puissance brute de Jésus ici à l'Arc de la Liberté.
Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I have towards you, said the Lord, thought of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected ending. Viewers around the world, God Almighty knows your pain. He's hearing your prayer. He knows your pain. He knows you're overwhelmed, worried about how things will turn out. And he is telling you to rest in him, trust in him, and he will mend and restore whatever that Satan must have taken from your life in Jesus' name. Espectador, observa tu pantalla y ve cómo el poder del Espíritu Santo de Dios está operando en la vida de las personas aquí presentes. Toda enfermedad está siendo expuesta para la gloria de Dios. El espectador, como voy a ir a la... Ah. I know that is all. I want that to survive in this life. Have you done to our family? I know that to be anyway. Have you done to the family? Oh, my family. They are in constant village. How do you enter this body? Ah. Oh. Oh. I'll go. Find any more Jesus. Ah. Your head. Find any more Jesus. Find any more Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out. In the name of Jesus. Out. In the name of Jesus. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Out. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, you are free. Stand up, you are free in Jesus' name. Declarada libre para la gloria de Dios. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, I'm free. Merci, Jésus. Elle est déclarée libre pour la gloire de Dieu. Les acteurs du monde entier, rappelez-vous que la distance n'est pas une barrière. Le prophétique Joshua dit que Jésus-Christ est plus majestueux en distance. Alors, où que vous soyez, touchez votre écran. Connectez-vous à nous par la foi et vous allez recevoir au nom de Jésus. Le nom de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ est le nom au-dessus de tout nom. Au nom de Jésus-Christ, tout genou fléchira et toute langue confessera qu'il est Seigneur et Sauveur. Et vous voyez la preuve de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ ici dans la Reine de la Liberté, car il est le même hier, aujourd'hui et éternellement, apportant la guérison, la restauration à tous ceux qui croient en lui. Espectador, así como la palabra de Dios lo dice, todo ojo le verá y toda lengua confesará que Jesucristo es el Señor. Estamos aquí presenciando el poder vivo de Dios presente en la arena de la libertad, la sinagoga iglesia de todas las naciones en Lagos, Nigeria. A faith in God, Jesus said, not faith in faith but faith in the finished work of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Remember that faith focuses on Jesus and his sufficiency. Wherever you are, distance is never a barrier to the move of God. Touch a screen by faith and receive all that God has made available for you. La pasteur Amy Joshua prie pour cette femme qui a des douleurs sévères au niveau de la hanche, souffre également du diabète, d'hypertension depuis 7 ans. Le Saint-Esprit à l'œuvre apportant la guérison au nom de Jésus. Viewers, wherever you are, remember that. God Almighty is performing his works of wonders in the lives of the people. 
those who have come burdened with problems, burdened with afflictions, those who have come plagued with sicknesses, diseases, are receiving rest in God's love. So viewers, wherever you're watching from, cast your burdens, roll your cares upon the Lord, and he will give you rest. And for you to receive the rest, you need to let go of offense, let go of grudges, let go of resentment, let go of anger. Free your heart to contact God. Free your heart to communicate with God because your heart is a communication point between you and God. Expecta adorar ahora mismo, libera tu corazón porque tu corazón es el punto de contacto entre tú y Dios. Pide al Espíritu Santo que te limpie de todo rencor, cualquier dolor del pasado, cualquier tipo de ofensa para que puedas recibir lo que Él ya ha preparado para ti. Jesus Christ is the answer to all fundamental issues of life. Whatever problem you've come here with, lay it at the feet of Jesus. Remember that Jesus Christ He died for our sake. Jesus Christ died for us to be totally healed and spiritually saved. Wherever you are, distance is never a barrier to the move of God. God is in the faculties of the man of God and the evangelist as vessels unto honor to administer prayers of healing, prayers of breakthrough to the lives of the people. Wherever you are, you too can be a partaker of what is happening right here at the arena of liberty. Une seule rencontre avec Jésus-Christ, voilà tout ce dont vous avez besoin. Une seule rencontre avec Jésus-Christ renverse toute situation. Lorsque Jésus-Christ entre dans notre vie, il met fin à notre passé et il donne naissance à notre avenir. Il met fin à notre passé de maladie et il donne naissance à notre avenir de guérison. Il met fin à notre passé d'esclavage démoniaque et il donne naissance à notre avenir de délivrance. I want to go. Uh, uh, I want to go. I want to go. Uh, uh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Espectadores de todo el mundo, continuamos en la línea de oración aquí en la Sinagoga Iglesia de Todas las Naciones. El Espíritu Santo de Dios se está moviendo con poder usando la, las facultades de su sierva, la pastora Evelyn Joshua y los evangelistas. Permanece conectado, permanece en fe, permanece en una actitud de meditación y prepárate para recibir del cielo lo que Jesucristo pagó por ti. No matter your situation, God is able. He has not created a thing he cannot control. He has not created a thing he cannot command. And he will command whatever Satan must have planted in your life out in Jesus' name. If you are around the world, all you need to do is to use your faith to place a demand on the anointing and receive all what God has made available for you in Jesus' name. Remember that as the woman... Has declared to us that this year is a year of a new name. Begin to confess your new name of freedom. Begin to confess your new name of liberty. Confess your new name of salvation and breakthrough in Christ Jesus. Le prophète Joshua nous a appris que la bouche est le révélateur de la croyance dans notre cœur. Alors continuez à confesser de votre bouche ce que vous croyez dans votre cœur. Rappelez-vous que cette année est notre année de nouveau nom. We are many. <laughs> spiritual wife, spiritual wife, a uh, uh, death. Thank <laughs> you. 
Of women, I, I, uh, I cause him death. Uh, now he's at court. Who are you? Yeah, the wife is disturbing me. The wife is disturbing me. Who are you? Uh, I'm a spiritual wife. So how do you operate in him? I cause him to sleep with. Women! And I cost him! Ah, debt, a lot of debt. He's a great person, but uh, I stop him. Hey! Ah, true dream. True dream. Hey! Ah, ah, no! Ah, ah, no! Ah, ah, no! Ah, stop it! Ah, 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 stop it! Stop it! Ah, no, stop it! Ah, no, stop it! Ah, no! Ah, That was the power in the name of Jesus Christ walking in spirits. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Gracias, Jesús.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. What about your body? Find the name of Jesus Christ. Your head. Find the name of Jesus. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Who are you? Who are you in the name of Jesus? Jesus. What have you done to her? I cause pain. You cause pain, cause sickness. What sickness do you cause? Esprit d'idol. What sickness do you cause? Cause legs and stomach. What have you done to the family? I scatter the family. What the I family? I trust you. Yes, I'm back. You are back. I'm back. Yes, I'm back. They no. cover me before. They covered you before? Yes. How did they cover Your you? Master. Okay. Chase me away. Give this woman children. Oh, boys, 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 boys. Now, I'm taking it away. Yes. Yes, I'm back. Sickness. I'm taking husband business. Okay. I'm taking it away. I'm start the family. I'm making the family. Yeah, how, Just... how do you enter this body? You evil spirit. <sighs> Spirit of the idol. From my father's family. Your end has come in Jesus' name. Holy Ghost. Find the name of Jesus. Esprit all over your body. Find the name of Jesus. You cannot stand Jesus. Find the name of Jesus. Find the name of Jesus Christ. What? Yes. I'm back. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Find the name of Jesus. A cause of the Find the name of Jesus. A death with family. Out. The contrary spirit. Out the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out. Ha destruido la familia. Out the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out. Just is more than you. Out the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. You are free. Amen. Declare libre au nom de Jesus Christ. Rise up, you are free in Jesus' name. Declare la libre en el nombre de Jesus. The family is free. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. The woman has been set free. Who are you? What have you done to her? What have you done to her? Have you done to her in the name of Jesus? Have you done to her family? La prière et la délivrance. Have you done to this woman? She can never conceive. She can never conceive. Who are you that don't want her to conceive? Who are you that don't want her to conceive? I'm a spiritual man. The spiritual man. What have you done to her, to her family? <laughs> have you done to her family? Sit back. She can never progress. How do you enter this body in the name of oh. Jesus? Espíritu de mujer extraña. How do you enter this body? It's so to go. When does come in Jesus? Esprit de femme étrange. Father, in the name of Jesus. Je veux pas qu'elle a des enfants. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. Father, in the name of Jesus. Cancer retrocesse. Father, in the name of Jesus. Now go. Out in the name of move everything, move it in the name of Jesus. Out, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, you are free. In Jesus' name, thank you, Jesus. Rise up, you are free. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 
Gracias, Jesús. Jesus Christ, your legs in the name of Jesus. Pain in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Who are you? Who are you in the name of Jesus? Who are you? Vemos la manifestación de espíritu contrario. Say what? Who are you? Observe que la manifestación del poder esprit. What is your mission in a body? What is your mission in a body? Ah. Ah. Open your mouth speak. You have been exposed. Ah. Who are you? Ah. Ah. Who are you? Thank you, Lord. All over your body. Find the name of Jesus Christ on the floor. Find the name of Jesus Christ your hands. Find the name of Jesus Christ on your crown. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Your heart. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. What is your mission in our body? In the name of Jesus. Speak out. Seriously? You know where you are? All over your body. Your eyes. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you in the name of Jesus? Who are you? Thank you, Lord. Turn in the name of Jesus Christ. Your heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Turn in the name of Jesus Christ. Your heart. Turn in the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body in the name of Jesus. Your waist. Your crown. Find the name of Jesus Christ on your legs. Find the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. What's the mission in our body in the name of Jesus? Say what? In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What's the mission in our body? What's your mission in our body in the name of Jesus? Vemos la liberación. Thank you, Lord. All over your body. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. On your foot. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. All over your body. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Your crown. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Your crown. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Your rings. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Vemos la manifestación de esta mujer. Está recibiendo su liberación. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, it's the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, it's the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, it's the name of Jesus Christ. Observe the manifestation of the Spirit. All over your body, all your contacts. Turn the name of Jesus Christ on your heart. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Thank you, Lord. All over your body, all your contacts. In the name of Jesus Christ. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your back. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Your crown. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body, the name of Jesus Christ. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. The puissance of the tenebres are exposed by the puissance in the name of Jesus. What have you done to her? What have you done to her? I can't talk. Say what? I can't talk. 
talk. Speak out, Jesus. I can talk. You have been exposed. Speak out. Don't talk. Jesus is more than you. In the name of I Jesus. Don't talk. Say what? You are powerless. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. Or your mouth. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. Say what? I don't talk. What have you done to her? And who are you? Who are you? Who are you in the name of Jesus? Who are you? Who are you? I don't talk. Pay the Jesus Christ over your body. Do you know where you are? Pay the Jesus Christ. Your crown. Pay the Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Pay the Jesus Christ. Pay the Jesus Christ. What have you done to her in the name of Jesus? What have you done to her? What have you done to her in the name of Jesus Christ? Speak out. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Libertador del Espíritu Santo, aquí en acción. Thank you, Lord. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, it's the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Stand up. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. To the glory of God, the woman has been set free. Deliverance continues. Stay connected. La deliverance continues. Stay connected. Spectator, la liberación es continua. Mantente conectado. All over your body. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. Your crown. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? What is your mission in our body? In the name of Jesus. Speak out. Say what? What is your mission in our body? The mighty name of Jesus Christ. What's your mission in our body? All over your body. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. What's your mission in our body? Thank you, Lord. The manifestation Thank you, Lord. Esprit. Vemos la manifestación de espíritus contrarios. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. All over your body. Thank you, Lord. All over your body. The name of Jesus Christ. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, it's the name of Jesus Christ. Vemos la liberación de esta mujer. Oh, it's the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Oh, it's the name of Jesus Christ. On your back. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All your contacts. Remove them in the name of Jesus Christ. All your contacts. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. On your legs, the name of Jesus. Your crown. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. All your contacts. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Fire the name of Jesus Christ. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, all over your body, all your contacts, your head. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Vemos la liberación de esta mujer. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Espíritus contrarios. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Be free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Stand up, you are free. Merci Jésus. Elle est déclarée libre pour la gloire de Dieu. Déclarée libre en le nom de Jésus. Thank you Jesus. <laughs> Thank you Jesus. <laughs> Thank you Jesus. I am free. <laughs> Thank you Jesus. The woman has been set free. Deliverance. Why are you in this body? I said I hate public. What have you done to her? Stop holding me. You said what? Who are you in this body? Try in the name of Jesus. Speak out. Who are you in this body? <laughs> Who are you? I told you I'm the queen. You're the queen? Yeah. How many of you are in this body? This is a generation cause. There are many. You are many. So has the queen, how do you operate? Espíritu de Reina. How do you operate as the queen? Esprit de Reine. Speak out in the name of Jesus. How do you operate as the queen? Not saying anything. You said what? Not saying anything. Try in the name of Jesus. Follow my body. Try the name of Jesus. Your head. Try the name of Jesus. Speak out what have you done to her and how do you operate? So what? This is a general cause. Uh -huh. From my mother's side down to my father's side. How do you operate in their lives? Yeah. No one will finish except no one will finish university except secondary school. After secondary school, no going forward again. Even the soul, yeah. She has written my egg four times. <laughs> have you done some marital house. life? You said what? None of them come out successful. <laughs> and she's going to write the other one again. <laughs> What have you done to a marital life? All of them are married. Yeah, all of them are married. We children. So what do you do to them? Malédiction générationnelle. Their education. Their education. Malédiction générationnelle. Try the name of Jesus. To me. Try the name of Jesus. Oh, it's a man. The more liberation of this woman. Try the name of Jesus. All of your body. Try your head. That crown. Try the name of Jesus. Your legs. Try your chest. Try the name of Jesus. Body, I'm not going so what? anywhere. I love this body. I'm not going anywhere. She's strong. You have no choice than to go. She's strong. Your head. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire your head. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You have to go. Now remove it. Fire in the name of Jesus. Remove it. Fire in the name of Jesus. That head. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Now remove it. Fire in the name of Jesus. Vemos la manifestación de esta mujer. Thank you, Lord. Manifestación de esprit impuro. Fire in the name of Jesus. Your hands, your chest, your stomach, all over your body. Fire in the name of Jesus. That chest. That stomach, your legs. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Stagnation at the Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Fire in the name of Jesus. That crown. Fire in the name of Jesus. Now remove everything. Fire in the name of Jesus. Remove it. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Fire in the name of Jesus. Remove everything. Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Fire in the name of Jesus. You want the stomach? Fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Out! Les démons sont exposés au nom de Jésus. Out in the name of Jesus. Elle reçoit sa délivrance. Out in the name of Jesus. Remove everything. Finally, now go. Out! In Jesus' name. Out! Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Of Jesus. Go. Christ, my Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Son of your free. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, libre in the name of Jesus. Indeed, at the mention of the name Jesus, every name must bow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Of Jesus, speak out. Who are you? <laughs> who are you in this body? La délivrance. Speak out. What have you done to her? <laughs> you said what?
corner of the screen to open the pop-up menu and tap on TV Guide, then Emmanuel TV Guide. Step 3. On the TV Guide page, scroll down to the Download section and tap on the Download button to initiate the download. Note, as a result of downloading the app via the website and not the Google Play Store, ignore the error message and... The peace of God never, will never depart from your home. <inaudible> Mercy of God will never depart from your home. <inaudible> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Gracias, Señor. It's time for mass prayer. Es tiempo de la oración masiva. Time for mass prayer. Time for la prière de mass. An opportunity for you to open your mouth and ask. Para que abras tu boca y pidas. Votre bouche est demandée. An opportunity for you to open your mouth and ask and receive. Que abras tu boca, pidas y recibas. Because you don't just ask. Demandé recevez. You ask because you know you will receive. Sabes que recibirás. And so get ready to receive. Préparez-vous à recevoir. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Abre tu boca y empieza a orar. You know why you are here. You know what you want from God. 
He said, ask and you will receive. God wants you to ask. Not that he doesn't know what your problems are. But he said, ask. And because he said, ask, ask and you will receive. What is that your problem? What do you want God to do for you? This is the time, open your mouth and ask. Es tiempo de que abras tu boca y pidas. Let someone say, I am walking in power. Je marche la puissance. I am walking in power. Estoy caminando en poder. I am standing in power. Me siento en la puissance. I am walking in the natural. Camino en poder. Because I'm a child of God. Porque soy un hijo de Dios. I am a child of God. Je suis un enfant de Dieu. And I act in the word of God. Because of that today, your confession will give you position in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Your confession will give you position in the name of Jesus Christ. What you confess about Christ Jesus will give you a position today in the name of Jesus. And what is that confession? That whatever the situation may be with you, whatever that problem may be, whatever that my challenges may be, Jesus Christ has the final answer. He has the final say. And so in the book of Matthew 14, Peter's trouble, Peter's battle was not with the natural. It's just stepping out of the boat. Just to step out of the boat. And when he heard Christ, Jesus said to him, come! He acted on the world. The authority in that world. He stepped out. He received a new life. New purpose. Nuevo new purpose. direction. Nueva and not just only him. But every other one person that was with him in that boat, his co-travelers in the boat of salvation, who now knew that with God, everything is possible. And so shall it be for you today. <laughs> People will see the glory of God in your life and they will praise your God knowing that with him, everything is possible. He walked on the water. The impossible becomes possible because God says come so Christ Jesus invited you here today every possibility in your life will become possible in the name of Jesus Christ and so right now begin to pray begin to pray whatever challenges you may be facing now whatever difficulties you may be facing now we say receive your freedom in the name of Jesus Christ Whatever challenges may be facing you right now, whatever hindrances, whatever obstacle, obstacle, be it family cars, we say be delivered right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be delivered today in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your freedom today in the name of Jesus Christ. Your accuser, Satan, accuses you through sickness, through affliction, through disease, disappointment, failure. We say receive your freedom today in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, because that seems to be the only information he has about you. Satan does not know what God has in plan for you. It doesn't know your future. And so we say receive your freedom today in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your breakthrough today in the name of Jesus. Whatever sickness in your body, whatever affliction in your body, whatever disease in your body, we say be healed today in the name of Jesus. Be here today in the name of Jesus. Be here today in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever hindrances. Is it in your job? Is it in your career? Is it in your marriage? We say be free today in the name of Jesus. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. the name of Jesus Christ. Place your hand wherever you're having any problems. Any challenges. Whatever name is being called. Satan is the cause. It's the cause of affliction. It's the cause of disease. But we have a maker. Jesus Christ. There is no sickness he cannot heal. No affliction God cannot kill. We say right now. 
every pain in your life Todo dolor en tu vida. every pain in your life Todo dolor en tu vida. every pain in your life Todo dolor en tu vida. we command them out in the name of Jesus say out say out say out say out say out wherever they may be hiding say out are they fibroid is it hypertension is it diabetes is it barrenness we say out say out say out say out be healed be healed be healed in your soul in your spirit in your body be healed be healed be healed in the name of jesus christ Continue to pray, continue to pray. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Say every contrary spirit. Faith into my life. To torment me. Anywhere you are. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Say out. 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 Come on, in the name of Jesus. Every contrary spirit, sent into your life, to torment you. Consume them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Tell them to come out, in the name of Jesus. That spirit sent to torment your life. That spirit sent to frustrate your life. Call in the name of Jesus. Abre tu boca y ora. Ordenale fuera en el nombre. Pray, 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 pray. Ora. Ordena fuera todo espíritu que esté atormentando tu vida que salga en el nombre de Jesús. Speak to that spirit in the name of Jesus. You spirit. Sent into my life. To torment me. Anywhere you are. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out in the name of Jesus. Paralyze the activities in the name of Jesus. Ordena pray, 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 pray. Todo espíritu que se haya establecido en tu vida para atormentarla, ordenale fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Abre tu boca y ora. Say you spirits. I call you by your name. You spirits. I call you by your name. You spirits. Send it to my life to torment me. Anywhere you are. Holy God. Jesus. Ordena fuera todo espíritu que esté atormentando tu vida por el fuego consumidor de tu vida. Ordenale fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Tiene que obedecer. Y tú obedecías. Habla en el nombre de Jesús. Habla en el nombre de Jesús. Ordena fuera. Ese espíritu tiene que obedecer. Ese espíritu tiene que obedecer. Pray, 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 pray. Ora, ordena fuera todo espíritu que esté ahí en tu vida atormentado. Come on, demás, en el nombre de Jesús. Por el fuego del Espíritu Santo, ordena le fuera. Call them by their names in the name of Jesus. Llámale por su nombre en el nombre. And they must obey. Tiene que obedecer. Cause it's to pray. Cuando ya pierde en ese espíritu sacia en el nombre de Jesús, debe obedecer en el nombre de Jesús. Open your lips and command them out. Abre tus labios y comienza a orar. Every demon, tu demon, every evil spirit, every familiar spirit, todo espíritu en la familia, every contrary spirit, todo espíritu contrario, all unclean spirits, every messenger of Satan, messenger of Satan, every demon, todo demonio, anywhere they are, donde sea que esté, in the name of Jesus, en el nombre de Jesús, anywhere they are, donde sea Ahora mismo todo de... ordena que salga donde sea que se encuentre. Every demon. Tu demon. Every messenger of Satan. Tu mensaje de Satan. Every unclean spirit. Todo espíritu inmundo. That is against your life. En contra de tu vida. Anywhere they are in your body. Donde sea que esté tu Command them out. Ordena que salga. Order them out. Ordena que salga. Command them out. Debe sortir. Tu mensaje de Satan que sale de tu cuerpo. Ordena de sortir en nombre de Jesucristo. Ordena todo espíritu que esté en tu cuerpo que salga ahora mismo en el nombre de Jesús.
Tu devais monter ce prêt sur familier de sortir au nom de Jésus-Christ. C'est le démon. Dis tout démon. You familiar spirit. Tu es plus familier. You ugly spirit. Tu es spirit du monde. I call you by your name. Te llamo por tu nombre. You are darkness. Elle est obscurité. Anywhere you are. Tu es que tu es. In my body. En mi cuerpo. Anywhere you are. Tu es soi. In my soul. Dans mon soul. Anywhere you are. Tu es que tu es. In my spirit. En mi espíritu. I command you. Ordeno. I order you. Continue to pray, continue to command them out, command them out, command them out in the name of Jesus. Continue to command them out. Command them out in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Continue to command them out, command them out, command them out, command them out. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Tout démon esprit familier contre vous, le sort de Whatever you might have eaten in the dream from the table of your enemy causing you sickness, causing you disease, whatever you might have eaten in the dream from the table of your enemy causing you sickness, causing you disease, say out, 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 Command them out in the name of Jesus. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Whatever you might have eaten in the dream from the table of your enemy, command them out in the name of Jesus. Because of that sickness, because of that disease, command them out in the name of Jesus. Que ce soit ce que vous avez pu manger de la terre. Continue to command them out, command them out, command them out, command them out in the name of Jesus. Au nom de sortir de Jésus. Tout ce que vous avez. Say you sickness. Dis toi maladie. You sickness. Toi maladie. You sickness. Toi maladie. You disease. Toi dolence. You sickness. Toi maladie. You sickness. Toi affection. You disease. Toi maladie. In my body. En mi cuerpo. In my blood. En mi sangre. In my body. Dans mon corps. I command you. Je t'ordonne. Out. Sort. Out. Sort. Jesus. Continue to command them out, command them out, command them out. Anywhere they are hiding in your body, command them out in the name of Jesus. By the authority in the name of Jesus. Command them out, command them out, command them out. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Ta maladie, ta affection dans mon corps, dans mon sang, ou que tu sois, je t'entends de sortir de Jésus. Continue to pray, continue to pray. Continue orando. Pray in the name of Jesus. Ora en el nombre de Jesús. Command that spirit that caused you sickness. Ordena el espíritu de enfermedad. Command the mouth, command the mouth, command the mouth. Ora en el sortir de Jesús. Command the mouth in the name of Jesus. Ora en el sortir de Jesús. Ordena el espíritu que te causa enfermedad que salga. Command whatever spirit. Ordena el espíritu. That disturbs your business. Que perturba tus negocios. Command the mouth in the name of Jesus. Ordena el fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Say you are clean spirit. Dí tu espíritu en pie. You are clean spirit. Tu espíritu en pie. Stop in my business. It derange mes affaires. You are clean spirit. Toi esprit impur. Frustrating my efforts. Qui fuste mes efforts. Anywhere you are. Donde se. Anywhere you are. Donde se. Ah. Fuera. Ah. So. Ah. So. Ah. Fuera. Ah. Fuera. Command the mouth. Command the mouth. Command the mouth. Ordena le sortir de Jésus. Ordena le sortir. That spirit that disturbs your business. Que perturba tu negocio. That spirit that causes you limitation. Que trae limitación. That spirit that causes you disappointment. Que trae decepción. Command them out, command them out, command them out. Au nom de sortir de Jésus. L'esprit qui fuse pour des efforts qui vous cause la déception. Au nom de sortir de Jésus. Command them out in the name of Jesus. Ordena les fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Ordena les espíritus que traen limitación y decepción que salgan fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Say you limitation. Y tu limitación. You limitation. Tu limitación. You are sheep. In my business. Dans mes affaires. You limitation. Tu limitation. In my business. En mis negocios. Listen to the voice of God. Écoute la voix de Dieu. Your end has come. Ta fin est venue. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. Fuera. Out. 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 Fuera. Out.
Demande mal, demande mal. Au lieu de sortir de Jésus, toi, esprit, toi, limitation, déception, dans mes affaires, je t'en compte de sortir. Continue to pray. We are still in the attitude of prayer. Sigue orando, seguimos As you pray, pray continue to break that yoke. Sigue orando. Break that chain, break that chain, break that chain, break that chain. Brise les chaînes. Break the chain, break the chain, break the chain. Rompe las Every chain that Satan might have used to connect with himself. Toda que se begin se to break them right now in the name of Jesus Rompe Christ. Nombre de Jesus. Every chain that Satan might have used to connect you to himself. Begin to break that chain right now in the name of Jesus se Christ. Se Christ. Chain of poverty be broken. We say chain of poverty be broken. Chain of affliction be broken. Chain of disease be broken. Chain of hatred be broken. Chain of family cars be broken. Say be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now you are going to ask Jesus Christ. To let you know what he says concerning your situation. Because if you know what he says concerning your situation, you fear no more. You worry no more. You panic no more. You doubt no more. That you praise God the more. You pray the more. So right now we said every chain Toda that Satan might have used to connect with himself be broken right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power, every principality that is challenging your divine destiny that is challenging God's purpose for your life. We say be broken right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil thought of the enemies concerning your life, concerning your job, concerning your career, concerning your family, concerning your marriage, we say be broken right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your freedom. Freedom from fear. Receive your freedom. Freedom from every cost. Receive your freedom. Freedom from inferiority complex. In the name of Jesus Christ. Breakthrough. 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 Breakthrough in your life. Breakthrough in your job. Breakthrough in your career. Breakthrough in your marriage. Breakthrough in everything you lay your hands upon. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Gracias, Señor. Thank you, Jesus. Merci, Jesus. Open your lips, open your lips, open your lips. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready for the power of God. Be ready for the anointing of God. Be ready for his influence. I'm ready for his influence. I'm ready for his awareness. I'm ready for his presence. Ouvre les lèvres, dites je suis prêt pour son influence, je suis prêt pour sa présence. Continue d'ouvrir les lèvres, dites je suis prêt Seigneur pour ton onction. Ahora mismo permita que el poder de Dios descienda y diga que está listo para su presencia, que está listo para él en el nombre de Jesús. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command every situation, every challenge to begin to cease. Begin to cease. Begin to cease. Begin to cease. Begin to see every situation, every challenges. Begin to cease in the name of Jesus. Begin to cease in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything associated with the demon, whatever that is associated with demon, be it sickness, be it affliction, be it limitation, be it hatred. In the mighty name of Jesus, demon and his associates, right now begin to command them in your life, in your business, in your family, 
Maintenant, priez que vous les démons et leurs associés, commandez leur de sortir de votre famille, que de sortir de vos affaires, de sortir de votre carrière, dans tout ce qui vous concerne, dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Ahora mismo, comience a orar por usted mismo, todo demonio que se ha asociado a cualquier aflicción, situación, desafío en su vida. Ahora mismo, empiece a declararlo fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Ore por usted mismo en el nombre de Jesús. Continuez de prier, vous commandez à ces démons et leurs associés de sortir de votre vie, de votre famille, de votre carrière, de votre mariage, de vos finances, de votre santé dans le nom de Jésus-Christ. Commandez à de sortir dans le nom de Jésus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those things that give you nightmare are synonymous with demon. Right now begin to command them out of your life. Ceux qui vous causent des cauchemars de sortir maintenant dans Jésus-Christ quand tu les prier. Là mismo. Espectador, conéctese con esta oración masiva y empiece a declarar que todo espíritu maligno que esté asociado con su situación, su desafío, está fuera en el nombre de Jesús. Ore. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you don't want to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. Whatever you don't want in your life right now to leave you in the name of Jesus. I said whatever you don't want to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. Leave 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 in the name of Jesus. Whatever that gives you nightmare. I say to leave you in the name of Jesus. I command them to leave you in the name of Jesus. That nightmare. 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 Observe cómo las personas están expulsando sustancias venenosas. Toda enfermedad está saliendo ahora mismo de la vida de estas personas. Espectador, conéctese ahora mismo a esta oración masiva y reciba su bendición en este día. En el nombre de Jesús, ore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your story change. The story of your head. The story of your career. The story of your business. The story of your family. Change the name of Jesus. Change in 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 the name of Jesus. Open your lips and begin to confirm this change right now. Abre tus labios y empieza a confesar ese cambio de historia en tu vida. La historia de tu vida cambia en el nombre de Jesús. Ore. Viewers all over the world. Spectadores. Let the power of God come upon you. Que el poder de Dios descienda sobre ti. Upon your flesh. Right now it is time to put your demise on the anointing. Don't forget unbelief blows blessing of God. Unbelief blows God's blessing. Right now begin to put your demise on the anointing. Let the power of God come upon you in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God come upon you in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God come upon you in the name of Jesus. Anywhere sickness is located, anywhere infirmity is located, anywhere sickness is located, anywhere infirmity is located, I command that infirmity to leave you in the name of Jesus. I command that infirmity to leave you in the name of Jesus. I command infirmity to leave you in the name of Jesus. Sickness in your bone, 
sickness in your liver, sickness in your kidney, whatever name they call him, never a sickness Jesus cannot kill. Cancer, HIV, whatever name they call him, never a disease Jesus cannot kill. I say I command them right now in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God come upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Merci, Seigneur. These are prayers that are not time bound. God is speaking to you, assuring you of His faithfulness, Dios His goodness, su His love towards you. Rejoice, in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Give thanks to God. Thank Him for committing Himself to your protection. Thank God for committing Himself to your blessing, your good health, your healing, your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations. Congratulations to you. The Lord has done it. El Señor lo ha hecho. Yes, He has done it. He said it in, your, in His word. Healing is yours. Blessings is la yours. Es tuya, la Deliverance tuya, is yours. La If es tuya. He has said it, He will do it. Y and He has va. done it. Y la fe. God bless you. Que Dios vous God bless you. Que Dios les Now, begin to What are you doing? Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. You cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover my home with the blood of Jesus. I cover my children with the blood of Jesus. I cover my career and my businesses with the blood of Jesus. Let someone say the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood that heals, saves and delivers. God bless you. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Merci, Seigneur. Amen. 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 May your way be blessed in the name of Jesus. Que tu camino se bendiga. May your home be blessed in the name of Jesus. Que tu foyer se bénisse en Jésus. Your career continue to be blessed in the name of Jesus. Que tu carrera sea bendecida. Thank you, Father. Amen. Yes, we have come to the end of this service. All praises to, the, to our Lord and King. All praises to Jesus Christ who has given us the opportunity again to witness his love. Because all we are enjoying is his love. Thank you, Lord. Merci, Seigneur. So let us share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, La gracia de nuestro Señor the love of God, el amor de Dios, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever. Amen. Emmanuel. Dios con nosotros. Emmanuel. Dieu est avec nous. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesus.
you would like to visit the Synagogue Church of All Nations, log on to our website at www.scoan.org. Go to the Visit Us page. And for those within Nigeria, you can call the three visit lines that appear on the website. For those from outside Nigeria, there are some frequently asked questions that will assist you in your visit procedure. Remember, it is essential that anyone from outside Nigeria should fill in the questionnaire. Please remember to answer every question that is asked. And after you have filled out the questionnaire, remember to click send. Please note, you must wait to receive an invitation or confirmation of your visit from us before making any travel arrangements or flight bookings. All communication with the Synagogue Church of All Nations should be through the following email address, info at scoan.org. We look forward to hearing from you.